Welcome to another spirit-filled message on Christocentric message. If you're new to this channel, I would entreat you to hit on that subscribe button and then to like this video. As well, I would want you to share this message across because we believe that as this message is coming forth, it's going to bless you. Your graces are going to be imparted unto you and then God is going to visit your home. Thank you for watching. Stay blessed. Die and die. I'm lost without you. And I, and I, and I. And I. Lord, we are desperate for your presence. I'm desperate for you. Desperate for your presence. Desperate for your presence. Desperate for your presence. Hallelujah. Father, this is coming from a heart, from hearts that are sincere and true before you. We acknowledge how much we need you and we acknowledge that we are desperate, unashamedly desperate. You have become our life. You have become the source of wisdom and we give you all the praise all the praise all the praise hallelujah ask the lord to visit you in a very unique way tonight open your mouth and pray visit me oh god visit me in a mighty way visit me in a mighty way Visit me in a mighty way tonight. Jesus, let your word come strong, let it change our lives forever, and let it make us mighty men and women, amen. God bless you, please sit down. Hallelujah. I want to welcome everyone. Thank you so much for the sacrifice of being here tonight those following us online we welcome you the overflow thank you so much the Lord will bless you in the name of Jesus I'll be sharing a few things tonight and then we'll pray I thought we'll make tonight a prayer meeting but then um, I just have to share a few things but then let's see how God will grant us grace and then we'll be able to commit some time to pray tonight hallelujah just turn to your neighbor and tell them God bless you Mike said something that was very striking while the worship team were ministering and he said koinonia teaches you that you can get many things but then he said the highest paraphrasing the greatest is God there are many things that are available in the kingdom prosperity is available influence is available all of these great attributes are available but the highest pursuit the highest the apex of your pursuit must be God himself hallelujah when you get to a point where you seek any other thing above God I don't care what it is 
it has become an idol at that exact point are we together so we must be careful and we must guide our pursuits so that at no time are we found consciously or subconsciously pursuing anything that is above god every other thing becomes relevant only when the position of god is healthy and secured in your life when the position of god in your life is threatened by anything regardless of how legitimate it is then you're already walking in a danger zone you must make sure the position of god please pay attention is secured beyond disturbance secured beyond disturbance that nothing in life has the capacity to disturb his place in your life you only become a winner when that is in place regardless of what you seek regardless of what you want believe me brothers and sisters it is totally mundane if it makes god secondary i don't care what it is if at any point any other thing you seek has the capacity to push god and you are not afraid of it pushing god you are already losing something god's position must be secured beyond and above contention hallelujah it says and this is eternal life to know you the one true god this is eternal life not to have money money is important this is eternal life not to have anointing anointing is important right it's very important to know him to know him to know him hear what paul said that i may know him it didn't say that we may know him that i may know him that's my cry that's my passion that i may know him when a believer loses fire for the pursuit of god it is the clearest sign that your life is under attack you don't need to find out whether you are sick or not the moment you find out that your passion for god is dying you don't need any other sign your life at that point is under serious attack and calls for emergency pray this prayer before we continue tonight and say lord be seated at the throne of my heart let it be a position if anything has threatened your position there i i use my will and i secure your position as lord as lord not occupant as lord not tenant as lord as lord don't be seated in the throne of my heart as a co-occupant as a co-tenant with something else let your position be secured beyond intimidation are you praying it's a very powerful prayer very very powerful prayer lord dismiss the things that threaten your position in my heart they are not worthy of my life if they must threaten you to bless me then they are from the devil if they must threaten your place in my life to bless me then they are of the devil any desire in my heart that cannot submit to you i throw it out i throw it out hallelujah praise the lord this is a very powerful prayer this is the reason why people worry let me tell you something about worry um come promise or anybody come do you know i'm talking about a number of things today but i just i just felt to start out with this if this guy is dying of stress worry because that's what is happening to some of us that's what is happening to our families people move around frowning their faces no joy no peace no fervor you ask them why and they will tell you look life you know how life is and 
they think it is an excuse are we together now listen let me teach you something very powerful hold on Mike. do you know why people worry the only reason why people worry is because they are obsessed about control and ownership the only reason why people worry is because they are obsessed about control and ownership they have an understanding that until they own a thing and they feel the security of that thing around their life their life is not guaranteed so they worry are we together now yeah they worry if i transfer one million naira to your account now and all of a sudden you start dancing watch this you are dancing because your phone showed you a figure are we together now watch this five minutes before that alert god already told you i will bless you but you are still saying oh god i, I know while god was speaking you know that money was still available but because it was not within your possession you are disturbed about it let me tell you something when you learn to hand over your life to god are we together worry will die a natural death which of you by worrying the bible says can add one cubit to his head you see someone of 20 years looking 45 you ask him why i say why won't i worry won't i eat now does the worry bring food one thing i know that does not add anything to your life anything at all to your life is worry it causes stress causes pain makes you to get angry you can just see someone looking blessed and happy and say so why is he smiling just because you are worried are we together say i refuse to worry prophesy to yourself i refuse to worry who knows probably this is already a word for someone you are killing yourself with too much stress people are sleeping in the night and the bible says he gives his beloved sleep you have refused to receive it you wake up and sit down and you are just thinking my life is this how it will be see those kind of thinking are not scriptural there's nowhere in the bible that is recommended that people should wake up in the night to worry you wake up to pray you wake up to study you wake up to dance and rejoice before god the bible says this it says um rejoice in the lord always and again in case you've forgotten i say rejoice are we together turn and speak to your neighbor and say worrying will not solve it tell them try rejoicing one more time say worrying will not solve it it doesn't matter what the problem is worrying will not solve it so try, yes you try joy joy is not laughing like a clown joy is a settled a settled um confidence a sense of merriment that comes from understanding that the person you submitted to is responsible very responsible are we together you don't take the part that is your own and the part that is god's own and join and kill yourself his load is not your load he gave you the your own part of the deal according to your size don't ever wonder how things will happen the bible says the same way you do not know the way of the wind or how bones are formed in the womb of her that is with child so you do not know the way of the lord in other words you don't know how god will make it happen it's never your business your business is to know that god said it i believe it i will no 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 no. that doesn't settle it that doesn't settle it i believe it i act because i believe it by acting i commit his integrity then it settles it see you don't say i believe it and it settled it how many people have had their lives unsettled because of the of course i understand that those who say it say it from a very fair point believing does not settle it at all forever oh lord thy word is settled where not in your life it takes faith to be settled in your life hallelujah so don't wait until you see things before you are confident right now as you are seated here god is already speaking to someone to bless you but if i say it you won't believe it until you see an alert if i say god is touching you now you won't believe it but when somebody shouts and scatters the chair you say wow something is happening here 
it looks like it is powerful but it's carnality you must rise to a level where you are governed by your confidence in god's word you understand manifestations are wonderful but if i tell you god is going to bless you and you, okay where is it the bible says, for to be carnally minded is death but to be spiritually minded is life and peace mm -mm, not just life life and what that's why people worry it's no peace no peace in their lives i will never never worry about anything i think i plan i take responsibility but not to worry worry does not solve anything worry is a sign of unbelief in fact truthfully speaking worry is sin are we together what is sin no 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 i'm not saying you should are we together In all you're getting, get wisdom. Wisdom is the principal thing. Through wisdom is a house built. And by understanding, it is established. Join, Join Apostle, Apostle Joshua Selman of Eternity Network, Network International as, as he takes you on a journey into, into the wisdom of God's Word. It's intimacy. It's partnership. It's fellowship. This is Koinonia. an incense to the heavens. Desperate for your presence. I'm lost without you. Hallelujah. Father, this is coming from a heart from hearts that are sincere and true before you we acknowledge how much we need you and we acknowledge that we are desperate unashamedly desperate you have become our life you have become the source of wisdom and we give you all the praise all the praise Hallelujah. Ask the Lord to visit you in a very unique way tonight. Open your mouth and pray. Visit me, O God. Visit me in a mighty way. Visit me in a mighty way. Visit me in a mighty way tonight.
hallelujah jesus let your word come strong let it change our lives forever and let it make us mighty men and women amen god bless you please sit down hallelujah i want to welcome everyone thank you so much for the sacrifice of being here tonight those following us online we welcome you the overflow thank you so much the lord will bless you in the name of jesus i'll be sharing a few things tonight and then we'll pray i thought we'll make tonight a prayer meeting but then um, i just have to share a few things but then let's see how god will grant us grace and then we'll be able to commit some time to pray tonight hallelujah just turn to your neighbor and tell them god bless you mike said something that was very striking while the worship team were ministering and he said koinonia teaches you that you can get many things but then he said the highest paraphrasing the greatest is god there are many things that are available in the kingdom prosperity is available influence is available all of these great attributes are available but the highest pursuit the highest the apex of your pursuit must be god himself hallelujah when you get to a point where you seek any other thing above god i don't care what it is it has become an idol at that exact point are we together so we must be careful and we must guide our pursuits so that at no time are we found consciously or subconsciously pursuing anything that is above god every other thing becomes relevant only when the position of god is healthy and secured in your life when the position of god in your life is threatened by anything regardless of how legitimate it is then you're already walking in a danger zone you must make sure the position of god please pay attention is secured beyond disturbance secured beyond disturbance that nothing in life has the capacity to disturb his place in your life you only become a winner when that is in place regardless of what you seek regardless of what you want believe me brothers and sisters it is totally mundane if it makes god secondary i don't care what it is if at any point any other thing you seek has the capacity to push god and you are not afraid of it pushing god you are already losing something god's position must be secured beyond and above contention hallelujah it says and this is eternal life to know you the one true god this is eternal life not to have money money is important this is eternal life not to have anointing anointing is important right it's very important to know him to know him to know him hear what paul said that i may know him it didn't say that we may know him that i may know him that's my cry that's my passion that i may know him when a believer loses fire for the pursuit of god it is the clearest sign that your life is under attack you don't need to find out whether you are sick or not the moment you find out that your passion for god is dying you don't need any other sign your life at that point is under serious attack and calls for emergency pray this prayer before we continue tonight and say lord be seated at the throne of my heart let it be a position if anything has threatened your position there i i use my will and i secure your position as lord 
as Lord, not occupant, as Lord, not tenant, as Lord, as Lord, don't be seated in the throne of my heart as a co-occupant, as a co-tenant with something else. Let your position be secured beyond intimidation. Are you praying? It's a very powerful prayer. Very, very powerful prayer. Lord, dismiss the things that threaten your position in my heart. They are not worthy of my life. If they must threaten you to bless me, then they are from the devil. If they must threaten your place in my life to bless me, then they are of the devil. Any desire in my heart that cannot submit to you, I throw it out. I throw it out. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. This is a very powerful prayer. This is the reason why people worry let me tell you something about worry um, come promise or anybody come do you know I'm talking about a number of things today but I just I just felt to start out with this if this guy is dying of stress worry because that's what is happening to some of us that's what is happening to our families people move around frowning their faces no joy no peace no fervor you ask them why and they will tell you look life you know how life is and they think it is an excuse are we together now listen let me teach you something very powerful hold on Mike. do you know why people worry the only reason why people worry is because they are obsessed about control and ownership the only reason why people worry is because they are obsessed about control and ownership they have an understanding that until they own a thing and they feel the security of that thing around their life, their life is not guaranteed. So they worry. Are we together now? Yeah. They worry. If I transfer one million naira to your account now and all of a sudden you start dancing, watch this. You are dancing because your phone showed you a figure are we together now watch this five minutes before that alert god already told you i will bless you but you are still saying oh god I, I know while god was speaking you know that money was still available but because it was not within your possession you are disturbed about it let me tell you something when you learn to hand over your life to god are we together worry will die a natural death which of you by worrying the bible says can add one cubit to his head you see someone of 20 years looking 45 you ask him why i say why won't i worry won't i eat now does the worry bring food one thing i know that does not add anything to your life anything at all to your life is worry it causes stress causes pain makes you to get angry you can just see someone looking blessed and happy and say so why is he smiling just because you are worried are we together say i refuse to worry prophesy to yourself i refuse to worry who knows probably this is already a word for someone you are killing yourself with too much stress people are sleeping in the night and the bible says he gives his beloved sleep you have refused to receive it you wake up and sit down and you are just thinking my life is this how it will be see those kind of thinking are not scriptural there's nowhere in the bible that is recommended that people should wake up in the night to worry you wake up to pray you wake up to study you wake up to dance and rejoice before god the bible says this it says um rejoice in the lord always and again in case you've forgotten i say rejoice are we together Turn and speak to your neighbor and say, Worrying will not solve it. 
Tell them, try rejoicing. Try rejoicing. One more time. Say, worrying will not solve it. It doesn't matter what the problem is. Worrying will not solve it. So, yes, you try joy. Joy is not laughing like a clown. Joy is a settled, a settled um, confidence, a sense of merriment that comes from understanding that the person you submitted to is responsible. Very responsible. Are we together? You don't take the part that is your own and the part that is God's own and join and kill yourself. His load is not your load. He gave you the, your own part of the deal according to your size. Don't ever wonder how things will happen. The Bible says the same way you do not know the way of the wind or how bones are formed in the womb of her that is with child, so you do not know the way of the Lord. In other words, you don't know how God will make it happen. It's never your business. Your business is to know that God said it, I believe it, I will... No, 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 that doesn't settle it. That doesn't settle it. I believe it, I act because I believe it. By acting, I commit his integrity. Then it settles it. See, you don't say, I believe it and it settled it. How many people have had their lives unsettled because of the... Of course, I understand that those who say it, say it from a very fair point. Believing does not settle it at all. Forever, O oh Lord, thy word is settled. Where? Not in your life. It takes faith to be settled in your life. Hallelujah. So don't wait until you see things before you are confident right now as you're seated here god is already speaking to someone to bless you but if i say it you won't believe it until you see an alert if i say god is touching you now you won't believe it but when somebody shouts and scatters the chair you say wow something is happening here it looks like it is powerful but it's carnality you must rise to a level where you are governed by your confidence in god's word you understand manifestations are wonderful but if i tell you god is going to bless you and you, okay where is it the Bible says, for to be carnally minded is death, but to be spiritually minded is life and peace. Mm -mm, not just life. Life and what? That's why people worry. It's no peace. No peace in their lives. I will never, never worry about anything. I think, I plan, I take responsibility, but not to worry. Worry does not solve anything. Worry is a sign of unbelief. In fact, truthfully speaking, worry is sin. Are we together? Yeah. What is sin? Yeah. No, 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 no. I'm not saying you should. Uh, are we together? Because this one, you are not missing the mark. This one, you are disbelieving God. God said it and you say, God, I don't know what you are talking about, but make it happen now. And God says, me? You are God alone from before time began. You are on your throne. You are God alone And right now To the good times and bad You are on your throne You are God alone Hallelujah. Listen I, I, Let me just say this before we go to the discussion of tonight Many people Listen, many people's confidence Are tied to to their perception of your joy you, you you cannot walk around as though i'm not making it or i'm just laughing but i'm not making do you know if i come here frowning and i say we're in trouble do you know how many people will be discouraged just by this look to say ah we're really in trouble oh no imagine that i come here i'm just frowning i whisper something to pastor jakes and Ejimi, and then the protocol go outside we come back you will just get up and carry your bible and say something is happening see one of the principles of leadership is that people reflect who you are. You have to know this. Are we together? Yes. People reflect who you are. You are an angry person, always frowning as if the whole world is on your head. Very soon you start reproducing yourself. You are going to see a group of very wild and angry people. No. Jesus is alive and he's in control. Hallelujah. The Bible says righteousness, peace, joy in the Holy Ghost will characterize the presence of the kingdom.
please avoid worry i just added your life i added your age by this little 10 minutes talk you will want to know how many people die for nothing just because of worry where will my school fees come from where will my house rent come from where will whatever it is come from when will i buy the car when would this anointing thing land on my life i've been praying does it take this long about this thing should have been working by now no. you have to believe him hallelujah tonight you will be mightily blessed mightily blessed in the name of jesus i want you to we're going to pray in tongues for two three minutes or so hold on i will direct you before we start because i want to teach you tonight on spiritual intelligence and believe me it will change your life we will not finish it we'll just continue it as a series but i want to open your eyes to a lot of things we have to grow and trust god for capacity for the way of the lord is the way of wisdom i choose the way of the lord for the way for the One more time for the way for the way of the Lord is the way of wisdom. I choose the way of the Lord. Hallelujah. One of my goals by the grace of God is to help us become very spiritual very spiritual because the bible says to be spiritual or to be spiritually minded is life and peace the epicenter of your success and progress in life is your capacity spiritually both in terms of who you are becoming and what you know when you know god you are really spiritual when you understand his ways you are really spiritual hallelujah Praise the Lord. Spiritual intelligence. There are a number of things that I'm going to be talking about. Um, it's a discussion, really. We're going to just be talking about a number of things. Um, but the goal is to open our eyes and to cause us to be spiritual. To discern the happenings around us and to be able to know how to respond to life accordingly spiritual growth as we have been taught again and again is measured by two parameters parameter number one is how much you are conforming experientially to the image of the christ the bible teaches very clearly how that conformity is an index that shows an individual or a people are growing so if you want to measure whether or not koinonia as a ministry and individuals if we are growing as individuals um, first you look at our degree of conformity that this gentleman started coming for koinonia for instance last week and we are able to measure from last week to this week what has happened in his life has his appetite for god been heightened you know we had some very um emotional times yesterday I think with Ejimi and Mike, he was over at my place. And then um, we had some really lovely discussions. And we were just reminiscing on how we all started with God uh, as against some of the veering off that people are having today. We discussed how the ministry started and how God has been able to help. And um, we, we said a lot of very interesting things. Um, back then, every night was a project on someone praise god every night you were not trusted if you were not filled with the holy spirit with a personality that can vouch 
for you. It's not that you just come from nowhere and just say, um, no, 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 no. That time, somebody had to get you born again, filled with the Holy Spirit, and there was a community of believers that guided your growth. So the possibilities of varying off was very fine, very, the, there was an environment of people. And then I think one of the things that helped us to grow, you may want to learn this, is that we had a covenant of accountability. I think it's one of the things most people do not have. A personal covenant of accountability. What that means is that you covenant with your life that you are not going to deafen your ears. There has to be someone who is able to challenge you. You don't come back home by 11.30 with no explanation and say it doesn't matter. No, it does. It matters. Covenant of accountability. Are we together now? We look at your life one week. You have not prayed to the hearing of anybody. You can't say you are meditating for one week. Your prayer is not to the hearing of anybody. Somebody has to ask you, are you okay? Are you sick? Do you need help? So it was very easy. Even those who didn't want to be serious with God, the plane was moving so fast. There was no way. When people got born again within one week, just one week, their lives would change. Now, of course, we cannot be that meticulous uh, because we are so many now. But I'm saying it is, it is important for you to know how God started with us. The reason why many people don't grow spiritually is because they don't follow the formula for growth. They do it haphazardly and carelessly. Praise God. So that's the first index, your conformity. Your conformity. Conformity to Christ. Conformity. Jesus is the reference of what the believer should look like. So when you find out that your growth process is making you look like any other thing outside of Christ, you need to review what you are looking at and what you are listening to. The second parameter for growth is access to light. Light and understanding. Your comprehension, your understanding. Understanding is everything in the kingdom. Understanding is everything in the kingdom. Understanding is what defines the limits of your life and destiny. Please pay attention. Understanding is the reason why you may enjoy a quality of life that is superior or otherwise. Understanding is very, very important. When, when Satan comes into a person's life, he tries to destroy your understanding. Destroy your understanding. That's why you see that we, we emphasize understanding. Hallelujah. We live in a world where many people are largely ignorant of the systems of God. Many people are ignorant of the personalities that are on earth, both spiritual and physical. Many people are in ignorance as to the implications of living and the implications of interacting with our realm some years ago maybe four years or so five years four five years i preached a message called spiritual perception and i thought how that your organs of interaction with the realm of the spirit must and should be activated and deployed to help sustain your spiritual growth you must be able to sense the impulses of the spirit to know both the speakings of god and the movement of god and so god has created provisions within us to help us tap into his speakings and tap into his responses the the summation of all those things is what the bible calls discernment the capacity to walk in the impulses of the spirit are we together now praise god but most people largely do not have that understanding and um, it has really destroyed our lives. The first thing I want to discuss tonight is the spirituality of life. The first mystery that we want to look at. Everybody write this down. Life is spiritual. Everybody write it down and then we'll say it. Life is 
spiritual say it after me life is spiritual therefore living must be spiritual see if life is spiritual then it no no no, no I'm, I'm talking now if life is spiritual then it's foolish to not factor in the realm of the spirit as you attempt to live many of us believe life is intellectual so we think that the moment you are educated as as, as far as we know education to be the enlightenment secular enlightenment we believe we are ready for living other people think life is just biological so the older you grow you think your growth is qualifying you for living are we together other people think life is sociological so the more you know people you believe you have what it takes to live but i'm telling you this life is spiritual find out how many people's destinies have gone in shambles because of their not having this spiritual intelligence that life is spiritual everything brothers and sisters about life is spiritual you go back to the book of the beginnings genesis and everything is spiritual everything spiritual in the beginning the bible says god created now that is that is i tell you we can dwell weeks just talking about genesis 1 verse 1 in the beginning what beginning god created the heavens and the earth so where was he because he created the heavens he created the earth meaning he was not in any of those places where was he the bible calls him dwelling in a place of unapproachable light governs the affairs of men from that standpoint god created not invented the earth was not invented the heavens were not invented they were created created with the intelligence of a superior being so it's foolish to walk upon the earth wondering if there is a synergy to the happenings of things life is spiritual the earth upon which you walk is spiritual you as an entity is spiritual unfortunately only witches and wizards know this are we together now only the people who destroy the destinies of men in villages know this the average believer is generally aware of the spirituality of life but has not come into an understanding that one of the keys to spiritual intelligence is to come to terms with the fact that life and everything about it is spiritual life and what everything about it no matter how trivial no matter how scientific spiritual hallelujah spiritual when you understand the spirituality of life then all of a sudden you will start seeing a line connecting dots as to the happenings of people's lives listen a man does not just get up and become poor like that a family does not just get up and not make progress just like that a man does not just beat his wife just like that a wife does not just beat her husband just like that the the source of that strength requires investigation are we together now a small child does not become so audacious that he looks at his father and says i can kill you no 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 no. The, the source of that audacity has to be investigated life is spiritual a church does not just grow members don't just carry their bibles from different points and start saying let's go to the same place without knowing themselves there's no wire connecting them you don't just open a shop and everybody from everywhere decides that they want to come to you no sir no sir life is spiritual you see men moving all around and you do not know what moves them spirituality of life someone decides to help you but you show up 
and something about your life you are not aware of makes the person to drive you away someone promises to marry you even goes to see your parents and all of a sudden introduction has been done he just comes up and says i had a strange dream i can't understand that's not the first time of having a dream but because of that dream you lose out on an opportunity brothers and sisters if you understand that life is spiritual you already without even understanding the nitty gritties you are already ahead of many people in life i will never treat my life from a scientific perspective no i will never treat ministry from a scientific perspective in the realm of the spirit one plus one is not two you have to define what one is you have to define what two is you have to define what other factors are in the equation we run our lives scientifically we run our lives intellectually sociologically and we become victims the book of job is full of mysteries that open up the reality of the spirituality of life when you look at the book of psalms david opened us to the spirituality of life when you read psalm 91 he starts by saying he that dwells in the secret place question where is that location today because david said a man can dwell there have you found it where is it like an address david is giving us an address where people can find safety and he never said a police station he that dwells somewhere there is a place a man can stand that you become immune he that dwells in the secret place of the most high then the second shocking thing is shall abide not under the light under the shadow what is that abide under a shadow that means your shadow has a spiritual implication this thing you look at li listen 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 i'm not talking of all this moving around you and let you fall down that's i'm talking of something deeper you know physics just tells us when light is casted on an object it creates a shadow that's as far as you know but the bible says men can dwell under a man's shadow <laughs> do you love jesus we love the bible right so i mean you are not the way you are looking at me is as if i'm teaching heresy it's, it's right in the bible shall abide under he gives the shadow of god a three-dimensional explanation you can come under it then he says i will say of the lord he is this and that and that and that please give it to us psalm 91 let's look at it yes that's the song your influence is all over me verse 2 and i will say of the lord he is my what refuge and my fortress my god in him i will not trust so let's see why verse 1 and 2 is there verse 3 it says surely he shall deliver me from the snare of the fowler and from the noisome pestilence look at all these descriptions they are description of strange things you don't see them with your optical eyes but their effects are as physical as anything verse 4 he shall cover thee with what stop hold on describe a man for me with a three-dimensional shadow and has feathers somewhere in his body which part of him has feathers because he was not just speaking a parable he says he shall cover thee with his feathers <laughs> then and under his wings shall thou trust his truth shall be thy shield that means in the realm of the spirit truth is not an information truth is a physical reality it's a shield you can hold it like i'm holding a tie truth is is, is an object relatable are you getting something now you will be so blessed if you pay attention to what i'm telling you five this is not even this i just want us to look at it just play around it it says because of all these provisions this is the only condition where thou shalt not be afraid because there is something called terror by night everybody say terror by night no matter how peaceful an environment is the bible says once it is night there is a mystery of darkness and terror listen the bible says we wrestle not against 
against flesh and blood but against principalities powers listen then it says rulers of darkness they don't they cannot rule in light the moment he's not talking of spiritual darkness the moment there is physical darkness it's a sign they are authorized to come out like animals that can only come out in the night so the bible calls it terror by night yet it's night time people like that's why people die in the night they that drink drink in the night when you see a man drinking by seven in the morning he's, he's a stupid man already something is wrong with his life but that's a, an acute complication no many things happen to people in the night the destinies of men are exchanged by night there are men that sit down and discuss they play the destinies of men like a chess terror by night not just um, terrorism as we know are you aware that there is such provision spiritual intelligence number one life spiritual mm. thou shall not be afraid of the arrows that fly by day have you ever seen them have you ever seen an arrow living somewhere but he said there are arrows that fly by day only god knows how many people it hits today because it flies every day you get up and leave your house and something happens please pay attention to what i'm telling you life is spiritual job chapter one a meeting was being held in the heavenlies satan now comes and a conversation is engaged have you considered my servant job while they are discussing that job is on earth minding his business and all of a sudden things begin to nose dive in job's life it's amazing how many people try to ignore the spirituality of life and expect to rise in life it's impossible it's impossible and more so this is africa you know we just pretend as i'm not talking of witchcraft the portals of africa are open to spirituality it doesn't matter through which force i'm just saying the portals of africa as a continent is richly open have you not heard of men walking back home and a hand slapped them have, have you heard of those kind of things a real three-dimensional hand but they didn't see it you don't have to see it to feel it are we together and the person goes back and all of a sudden one of us showed me a picture of his dad yesterday half of the leg had been eaten you can literally see the bones like that half of it do you know what happened he was sleeping a mystery happened he woke up and all of a sudden that leg physically there are many things you call sicknesses you don't even know where it came from i'm sick you go to the hospital they tell you there is nothing wrong with you they check everything you know the doctor even says stop coming here you are you are wasting our time but you know you are not feeling fine are we together mysteries that cannot be explained life is spiritual i learned this very early in life the spirituality of life the spirituality of ministry the spirituality of living when you know this your pursuit for god does not become you know every time you see somebody unusually zealous they just say kai this guy i'm sure you are going to be a pastor or this lady i'm sure god is already grooming you he has isolated you and is grooming you to be a pastor's wife no the key to survival is to become spiritually minded please hear what i'm saying some of our parents right now ignore this and they are paying for it dearly there are mysteries in people's families they do not ex they do not understand life is everything spiritual when jesus came his birth was spiritual everything about it now look at this for god's sake a woman is minding her business probably imagining what dress will i wear for my wedding all of a sudden a stranger just appears 
Hail Mary. He didn't even say, what is your name, ma? Hail Mary. In other words, we have been watching you. Your name is Mary. We know. You don't have to tell anyone your name in the realm of the spirit. No, sir. No, sir. If God ever asks you what is your name, it's for a reason. I mean, it doesn't make sense for him to ask you what is your name. He wants to change it. Then that's when he will ask it. Yeah, in scripture, Saul, Paul, and all of that. But that they are asking you because they want you to supply an information. No, no, no. Are we together? Do you know? Let me teach you something. You can never see a spirit being and be the same. Whether a demon, whether an angel, you may never know what happens to you. Brothers and sisters, listen. If this is a shrine and you just run by mistake and say, oh, the wrong place. As you, you never will live the same. No, it's impossible. 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 You thought you ran too fast to be seen. The realm of the spirit is not like that. Please understand what I'm saying. If you know this, that you are coming for koinonia, you may be sitting outside, you will never feel bad again because you realize that, wow, this thing is that, it's just because we are, because of the physical comfort of maybe being inside and all of that, but it makes no difference. That's why you can be saying God is touching somebody and someone in the second overflow is flying there. You that you are close, you are now looking at ah, God, you mean you jumped me? Listen, the Holy Spirit does not move with time and distance. Mm -mm. These two factors don't exist. No, 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 no. Like you say, I have to touch you before touching you. That's physics. In the realm of the spirit, you don't do that. Are we together? Are you understanding this? So you can never see a spirit being. Anybody that tells you he has been having encounters with spirits, I think you should respect that person, whether in a negative way or positive way. That I've had some appreciable and except if, if the person is lying, if the person is telling the truth, no, you are meeting a dangerous person for good or for bad. Most of the world leaders interact with spirits. Please look at me. Let me preach to you. Forget the fact that you see everybody wearing suit and going for forums. They are being advised, counseled, rebuked, directed by strange spirits. There are documentaries upon documentaries on my system that proves to you that no man let me teach you something brothers and sisters you want to be famous a day will come a spirit must show up in your life to say all right now that you have gotten to this level we have to negotiate for it to go further i give you a guarantee 100 percent if jesus does not appear to you an angel sent from god does not appear to you a demon who are somebody is same it's like a realm. You keep rising. Nobody disturbs you, but you get to a point. They say, okay, everybody that rises from here, right now, the realm of the spirit cannot be strange to such a person. That's why you enter a business meeting. Somebody looks at you. You look at him. Two of you know yourselves. Everybody knows what he has touched or otherwise. There is a level you cannot be neutral. Believe what I'm telling you. When you see people doing some things they are doing, they have seen something. When a woman looks at you and says, I will kill you, mark my words, you better take it seriously. Either pray or stand on the confidence of what you now know. But to say, ah, this is what you just, you would really die. Because you see, let me tell you, there are too many laws that can remove your spirit from your body. Many, many laws, many laws not just death there are many spiritual laws that can separate a man's body from his spirit any of them can be manipulated to kill you you see that sickness and accident are physical expressions of the commonest laws that are used to separate people's bodies from their spirits like you skin a cow have you gone to the abattoir you see them they have a skill they skin a cow there is a mystery that can remove your spirit from your body and many people move carelessly and then it happens it may happen through a car it may happen through different things but it is still a manifestation of this you cannot sit on certain positions being neutral it's impossible i remember one of our friends years ago he got a job and i remember him saying they were paying them 
them that were struggling they were paying them 50,000 and they were paying the prophets 1.2 now if they don't call it salary they call it honorarium but it's still a release of something from the giver to the person who needs it they pay you 50,000 for laborious study of five six years under the most stringent conditions possible and somebody just throws and comes in and they give the person 1.2 you know why because that person has an advantage he can do something hi life is spiritual life is spiritual life is spiritual i don't have to see you to talk to you life is spiritual life is spiritual people's lives are being manipulated without their will life is spiritual many of us were born in pure christian families we never had any touch with idolatry so you don't understand the spirituality of life but for a few people who veered off here and there did one or two things life is spiritual grandparents just come out and sit on the ground and after a few minutes they stand up they say it's all right it will be well with you go and you are saying what did they see life is spiritual in the bible before they fought wars they will go and ask the kings and prophets please will we win and then they will say there's trouble though. and then they will say how can we change it now this is the part of spirituality that shocks me the ability to change things change things by the spirit like a cleaner i look and i find out that this is supposed to happen then you clean it as if there's nothing there Haba. oh you were supposed to die tomorrow then somebody just cleans it what advantage do you have do you understand that your life is spiritual when you sit down in that class do you know that it's not just one person sitting down life is spiritual now the, it's not to just make us irresponsible and just see demons in everything when i talk of the spirituality of life i'm not just talking about demons i'm talking about the presence of spirits to guarantee anything happening you the concept of being an atheist is another class of deception life is very spiritual you see a lot of people come to dig a well after they dig a well the water comes out they'll tell you go and look for chicken has that happened to you go and look for chicken they slaughter the chicken and make incantations in the well and the water will never stop coming think about that do you know the water on earth is older than everybody on earth now i hope you know that the water on earth is older than everybody on earth you are not drinking a person you are not drinking a substance you are drinking history this was only bottled only god knows who laid hands on this water could it be part of noah's flood could it be you just know you are just swallowing it and then your body just reacts you take something and all of a sudden your body reacts i'm comfortable Koinonia, listen, listen, listen. Let me teach you these things. If you do not understand it, don't be great. Just get a one-room apartment, get married, have two or three children, be a kingdom financier, and wait for the day you'll be with the Lord. But that you want to rise in this world we live in. No. We're traveling to Benin Republic. I think I told, when we got somewhere, a man, one Lenge guy, very lengthy guy just looking like all these smokers he looked at me and he called my name joshua you've seen them now you see them in markets they look at you and in five minutes they start giving word of knowledge you've not seen those kind of people they look at you and say madam uh -uh, why is uh, why is, is is joshua stubborn like this now he said don't disturb me but because they mentioned joshua i say who say again life is spiritual lo i come in the volume of the book as it is written it is written i just appeared but something has been written a script a script about your life written when you understand the spirituality of life 
then you also know that you have an advantage by the spirit to manipulate things to be consistent with the word of god in your life this is the revel this is where i'm taking you to when i understand that life is spiritual i don't mourn at physical results because i know that there is a loop through the spirit where things can be corrected are you seeing that now at that point i stop worrying because i know there is an advantage the advantage is my access my access to spirituality i can be assisted by a spirit being in this case the holy spirit listen one of my best scriptures in the bible is then the secret was revealed unto daniel a beast of a man just came and said if you don't tell me my dream and the solution i will kill you and he said king don't be hasty don't worry let's just go and sleep while other people were sleeping he knew that something happens to men at night the night is also a time for revelation listen you try praying in the night and try praying in the day if you pray seriously come and tell me the difference come and tell me the difference this is this this one I, this one is like my office i can tell you everything you want to know about it the night time i have sought out the mysteries of the night in a very strange way the magi came out and they saw a star and they started smiling they said a king is born not a child a king is born and they started going when they met herod they said um we came from the east based on our study we have books here prophesying and a physical star because in genesis chapter one he said he made the stars to signify times and seasons times seasons hallelujah so they looked at it and then it led them to the place and when they got there they saw a baby but because they knew that it was not a baby they started worshiping him if i if you are worshiping a jimmy's child won't somebody know that they say they want to kill your child a jimmy but now two three or well the bible doesn't say three men but we know magi came from the east and they are worshiping someone because they are seeing more than that and all of a sudden an angel appears and says run away with this child they want to kill him run quickly do you know why because jesus could die hmm. did you hear what i said the angel will not waste his time and say run away with that child if he could not die he could die if he if they disobeyed that angel they would have killed him the only thing is the body would not decay but he would die yeah he would die are we together when jesus fasted 40 days and 40 nights satan was waiting very strange immediately he finished he just showed up now watch this if the devil is near you won't you drive him but hear him he's walking with jesus satan walking with jesus please come you are not the devil in jesus name say amen but watch this i'm minding my business and somebody appears and i look i say satan you again think about that this is what happened in your bible and he said ah jesus you are hungry turn this stone into bread and then he said it is written and he didn't disappear he didn't go he continued with another temptation he said jesus follow me let me show you something and jesus followed him your bible they went up the mountain he said look at all the glories of the earth hold on where is that mountain where a man can stand and see the glories of the world at once is it mount everest it's a mystery these guys just came out of the physical realm into the realm of the spirit and said stand i show you all the kings i have empowered this is it like a window like you just step out into a door and show jesus all the glories he said if you bow to me i will give you if you bow to me that is the mystery of the wealth of sinners if you bow to me i will give you satan does not need money he needs your bowing if you bow to me i will give you so when you say you want to be blessed and not bow uh -uh, he says no you can't eat your cake and have it 
your allegiance and then i give you every other thing and you say no i will have it are you seeing so you just get up and say why are christians not getting jobs now you understand he took him and showed him the system bow to me so you want a job but you don't want to bow to him you must find out what provision has been made because jesus conquered him then he now took him up a cliff and he said jump down he said he shall put his angels charge over you look at satan quoting scriptures the guy you call satan by the way let's not uh, it's not that we're talking about satan but do you really know who he is look up please are you getting blessed am i boring you tonight who exactly is satan a guy with a horn as nigerian film has depicted no that's just to help you understand who exactly is satan because according to scripture we see that satan is a person he can be at a satan is not omniscient not all knowing the ignorance of satan is clear from genesis to revelation there are many things he did not know are we together number two satan is not omnipresent many times he's at a spot he can't be everywhere he's focusing on the issues that are most important question three is satan down up or where where does he live now today because when we say down down satan up up jesus none of them is living up or down that's not the address of any of them it's not the address of any of them you go up i guarantee you, you are not going to see anything there you see that because i hope you know that this our realm is suspended in space space that even scientists don't know there is no reference to measure where we are at now and it was concealed by the wisdom of god you can't you can't tell whether we're in the middle what where exactly are we you call this solid you are standing here now but you are floating and moving around think about it yet the bible says it has foundations the earth your earth jesus himself or well god speaking now told job that the earth has foundations who is satan why does he make you afraid please look at me let, let somebody be delivered now who is that guy that threatens the whole world where is he now if you call him will he come are we together now do you know there was a time in the civilization of god's kingdom where satan was not there he was not even created i hope you know satan has a creation date he was not born so he was created are we together now let me shock you number two i hope you know satan is not the most dangerous of spirits evil spirits now no of course the bible never teaches that that satan is the most dangerous of the spirits no there are spirits currently now that were bound in everlasting chains now as i speak they could not be released because even the elect if they are released they may not stand them now as i speak there are spirits bound but satan is going to and fro he's not part of them I want you to understand this you see you disarm darkness when you have light you disarm darkness when you have light all through scripture we see that demons can be told what to do and they can be told where to go and under certain conditions they must obey are we together now so how does satan carry out the advancement of all of these things how does he do that you see somebody who minds his business and you begin to pray for him he's manifesting the power of god is upon him and he's vomiting something physical vomiting razor vomiting this and that now that's an ugly scene frankly speaking but i mean it's a shock 
I've counseled so many people. I remember one gentleman who said they, their father took all of them for protection. After making incisions on them, God is my witness. They gave all of them two, two razor blade, physical sharp razor blade. The man said, just close your eyes and eat it. The guy said, are you joking? This is razor. And they said they threw it in their mouth and they were shocked. They didn't wound them. They didn't do anything. It disappeared. Nobody swallowed their own. Now, when a razor disappears in your mouth, you have to find out where it went to. Say after me, life is spiritual. Life is spiritual. There are people who end their salaries. Their physical money disappears. I'm not saying sickness took it. You kept 20 naira, you come and find 15 naira. Yet you are alone in the room. There are individuals that have strange visitations by men, women. Strange beings in the night. A spirit comes and then comes to sleep with you or do certain things and you get up with all kinds of things you have a dream that there was an incision you wake up physically with a mark with blood was that was that just a, was that a story a spirit having an affair with you in a dream because spirits are neither male nor female you understand so there is no reason why you should be having that. Let me explain to you the mysteries behind people's lives that they don't know. Pay attention to what I'm saying. We live in a world that you must have spiritual intelligence. There are four things I'm talking about. Maybe I'll just take this one today. Because I can dwell here and explain to you the mystery behind the happenings of people. Just like that. Life is spiritual. All of a sudden, in three weeks promise men start coming to your life to favor you where were they what happened before that they didn't come somebody spoke to you he didn't give you money he just spoke to you you didn't see anything leaving him it's not even that his saliva touched you he just said something to you and you left believing you carried something and you come out and people start treating you in a certain way say after me life is spiritual you had the testimony of that dear lady about the favor how many of you have been crying and your helpers are next door but they cannot speak to you but all of a sudden something happens and you begin to see people arise for you life is spiritual every one of you seated here as many as you are look at people standing outside and i say this with all humility human beings are not idiots nobody comes to stand outside in the cold and just watching because he's trying to what is so special about the man of god everyone say life is spiritual it's not just poster it's not just balloons there are mysteries do you know sometimes i watch people when i come for corner and i see people sit down i know that the spirit realm brought them even them they are surprised what am i doing here yet you are still coming spiritual Are we together when a lady gets married and all of a sudden her womb closes watch this what is satan looking for why is her womb closing she goes to the hospital the doctor say you are fine we've checked you you are okay or god we checked you you are okay but then the child does not come at all two years three years five years the child does not come and then all of a sudden they begin to have problems husband and wife and then everything scatters are we together and then watch this that same woman will live in defiance and go and have an affair with another man and get pregnant instantly instanter that means it was never about anything wrong with her there are people who have seen people have prayed for people with hiv it's not that they lived a careless life no no i remember a testimony i don't know if it was here that was shared someone went to bed in the night all of a sudden a stranger appeared held syringe and told the person this thing inside it is hiv injected the person he woke up physically with hiv is there any amount of antiretroviral drug that will heal that person If the sickness came from the realm of the spirit medicine can only manage it 
the real cure the real cure will come from the realm of the spirit are we together families in disarray because they do not understand that life is spiritual there are people who will be driving driving going to their place of work at top speed the car will just lock lock in one position i've spoken with many people who had accidents you ask them what happened they tell you i tried to turn the steering i'm not a careless driver i did my best i was watching myself dying you know i've seen the spirit of death i know it it knows me i've seen the spirit of death so i know what i'm telling you it comes to hospitals in the night patients in wards and all of a sudden hovers round and all of a sudden people just leave and in the morning you come and find out so so person is dead there are times it will come over territories like a city like zaria like this it will just come it's invoked by powers they do incantations and invoke it it can loom around a territory for three weeks and there are ghastly motor accidents headache killing men a pastor just standing on stage preaching and he will collapse and die and then after a while when the invocation has fulfilled its reason for coming it quietly leaves you see it happen break forth thou fountains of the deep and we cadence you were mighty on your own. You reign, you ancient Zion's king, Kadosh, Kadosh, you are mighty on your throne. Abraham, Abraham is returning from war, and all of a sudden, a strange man appears. The Bible says, No father, no mother. What kind of a man is that? Melchizedek just shows up and says, Abraham. You don't know me but i am a king a king of where i've never heard about you you are a king listen listen the earth is not the only place that has kings melchizedek said i am a king of where salem an ancient city of peace then he looks at abraham and said i'm on assignment Abraham gives him a tithe of all and he says Abraham I want to activate something in your life blessed be Abraham possessor you of the most high possessor of the heavens and the earth listen you never see Melchizedek in the Bible again the next time Melchizedek shows up is in Jesus hold on the Bible now calls him a priest after the order of Melchizedek read your bible and see the strangers that met with men that we never saw again never saw again never saw again there are men who started churches when the church started growing one time all of a sudden spirits just appear to them i'm the power that controls this territory we can negotiate all this bishop oedeko shared and said how that it, the kaduna church was not growing still anointed still with power the kaduna church was not growing and all of a sudden he said one time they were fasting and praying say life is spiritual and all of a sudden he came out and the holy ghost asked him to come out he said look and he looked and he saw a dark veil dark veil covering the people he said this is the veil that misinterprets what i am doing misinterpret it and he commanded it and it left he just left like that and all of a sudden members started coming what is the relationship between members and this have you not heard of people who want name kings and they bury their children correct they bury people alive and you just get up and come to fight them you die for nothing i was in mina last week and one of us the media person met me and then you know talking about the security situation around and he said something he said a particular village 
when there was war about to happen in a particular village that the people there said no problem that the people just carried their charms and came and lined it in front of the village mysterious substances started killing the armies one of them something ate his hand you don't know what it is those people they have it when the going gets tough they bring it out are you aware that life is spiritual are you aware that your life is spiritual when you know this it should not make you afraid it should give you the key to changing anything when you know that life is spiritual you will value prayer because you will know that when you pray among many other things you are changing things you are shifting things in the realm of the spirit my life today is a product of this singular revelation life is spiritual you never see me sit down and i'm just discussing physical things with people i may keep quiet and nod but i am reading between the lines and when i get it i say oh that's it we know what the problem is listen koinonia let me tell you the relevance of this understanding you never will try to fight physical people again if your roommate is fighting you all the time know that life is spiritual fighting your roommate is when you finish praying you find out that they are behaving haywire don't you know that there is a spirit that was watching while you are praying and now you are coming all of a sudden they will pour water on your bed because anger is a gateway in the realm of the spirit so the devil will try to rob you from joy joy with joy shall you draw that's why you finish praying and your father insults you that's why as you are living from koinonia you receive hostilities from people when you know that life is spiritual you will stop being angry and you will stop wasting your time let me tell you how many of us have aborted prophecy you don't know that life is spiritual the moment a miracle is about to come that's when you hear stories that five people said about you satan is moving through men moving through men the moment there is a breakthrough did you hear this about pastor jakes and then you are bitter and then you are angry and the demon say praise god this is exactly what we are looking for and all of a sudden the prophecy is aborted like a woman pregnant but there are those who understand this and the moment they are looking at you you say no no i know it's not you you are just a victim of the realm of the spirit so i ignore them and i keep dancing my way to joy listen when jesus was going to enter a city do you know how he said we should enter he sat down on a horse and said people praise and sing if jesus entered that city silently something dangerous would have happened he listened do you know joy and laughter are weapons in the spirit look at me look at me let me share something with you sam if you are talking to all of us now and we start laughing and scorning you what happens to you talk to me do you know if i am angry at promise my joy is to see him angry when he's angry then what i have done to make him angry is working but when you see somebody that you are praying that something bad happens to him always happy and joyful it will disarm you the bible says why do the hidden rage and the people imagine a vain thing listen the kings of the earth they set themselves right against god as his anointed then he says he that sits on the throne hold on it didn't say he will fight first the first thing that happens laughter is an expression of joy hold on hold on that's why when people are under the anointing sometimes you see them laughing hysterically now you are not spiritual so you just think which kind of men of god are this that's serious breakthrough happening to them in the realm of the spirit there are people under the anointing you see them start dancing i'm not talking of they can't even control themselves dancing and you may not understand when they were going to take the ark back there was a formula it was always with singing and dancing I was I was sharing with you a Jimmy I will just share it to help you I, I think it was um, um yesterday we were talking I got up in the morning about to pray and the Lord said no you are not going to pray you are going to dance before me two hours stretch non-stop that's all I did all I did I was so tired I, I said wait, wait which style now am I going to I mean what is all this but I knew 
I'm smart enough to know life is spiritual. Listen, listen. That two hours may be equivalent to 15 years breakthrough. Two hours. You reign, you ancient Zion, King Kadosh, Kadosh. You are mighty on your throne. spiritual Joshua chapter 1 2 3 they survey Jericho and all of a sudden he says walk around don't talk just walk around what is the stupidity of walking around life is spiritual you call it madness a man is walking around once and then he says on the seventh day hold on listen the Bible says the fence of Jericho five chariots could stand on it so even if you turn it it will still become another fence are we together there are people who are too big for breakthrough they are too they are they are they are, they are too carnal and scientific for the stupidity that spirituality requires life is spiritual they moved around the seven time the moment they got there he said now Tehila, don't fight shout shout and the bible says when they shouted listen listen hold on hold on hear me sometimes sometimes you hear people say give god a shout or sometimes you see about to minister and i tell you you are going to shout the name jesus you may think they are just formulas stupidly you see this is the once your mind if you allow people who are depraved and don't know God they will rubbish your breakthrough they will say what are you doing what what are you saying same thing with praying in tongues you are praying in tongues and someone sees you and say you too you are in this thing you are doing this thing too ah. you too you are you are joining them at your age you went to school listen listen I tell you I have mastered how to destroy Jericho in my life. I know the principles. Life is spiritual. When I found this key, I stopped wasting my time. Brothers and sisters, let me tell you how to come out of any trouble in your life. Should I tell you? Listen, after you finish praying, listen, I want you to laugh and dance. Dance is a strange mystery of deliverance. Strange mystery. Believe what I'm telling you. Dance is a strange mystery of deliverance. Dr. Kenneth Copeland asked Bishop Oyedeko and said, you claim we taught you faith, but how comes you are able to pack over 50,000 people for services? And Oyedeko said, I dance every one of those people to church. See, listen, there is a time to pray. But there is a time to engage other things. Are you getting what I'm saying? The Bible calls it the sacrifice of praise. It didn't say the music of praise. It's a sacrifice. It will cost you. But it will tear your heavens open. Listen. You have not seen breakthrough till you know how to rejoice before God. There's nothing I know that paralyzes Satan like an expression of praise and joy. Is one of the seven mysteries God revealed to me. Seven mysteries. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Let me show you how men have commanded victory in their lives. When you don't know the key and you don't know that life is spiritual, you will waste your time. Cheap victories, you will never get it. I remember a woman who shared a testimony. Um, she was barren and then she started bleeding. She, she took him and then she started bleeding and she went to a man of god who happened to be a doctor true story and the man said ah madam Thor, right now honestly this this thing of course you know what that means it's it's over just trust god for grace and the woman said no i know what my bible says the man said well you know i'm a pastor but i'm also a medical practitioner when he finished everything the woman said she did do you know what they said dancing vigil not not you put vigil and put songs and you are, she said she 
danced her way and that child returned from wherever he was. Listen, if you don't believe what I'm telling you, honestly, you can go home. Cornonia has finished for you this night so that you don't waste your time. You are too big to engage these mysteries. Some things will never happen in your life. Never happen. Hallelujah. There are mysteries. When the devil wants to get your life, he will use men. Listen, every time you start seeing strange attacks, it's a sign that something is about to drop. Be careful. Be sensitive. Bitterness will start coming. Are we together now? Betrayal will come. All kinds of things. There are demon spirits desperate trying to use men to look for access to sabotage. And that's why you joy, 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 rejoicing, dancing. All these things distract you till the miracle comes. Find a man who has refused to get angry. I'll show you a winner. I'll show you a winner. A winner. Some of you, all this, I'm like that. You will never rise beyond certain levels. In our family, we're like that. If I'm angry, should I not say it? Apostle, I'm a human being. You will sit there as a human being and die like men. Yeah. Mysteries. This life is spiritual. You are looking for rent. And the rent has refused to come. Do you know there are times in your life, there is nothing about you that can bring that miracle. You are not expecting money from anybody. There is no hope of anything coming. Those are the times you engage this. You don't go around just saying, sir, the other day I spoke to you, I'm still here. Or is it that you are not seeing me? No. Let God talk to them. You talk to God. You engage the mysteries. And while you are dancing like a mad person, do you know there are people between now and Friday, you will see the strange testimonies that will come in your life if you understand that life is spiritual. This is the foolishness some of us have adopted. Oh, we have been stupid enough to do it. And God has proven himself in a very dangerous way. When we were going for crusade, remember when our car stopped let me give you a real testimony the car refused to move they kicked it it did not move remember we prayed and prayed and prayed and prayed they kicked it all of a sudden we were tired everybody was discouraged steve strings just took the guitar and started playing that was how we started singing there are witnesses we kicked that car it started till we got to the crusade ground When you understand that life is spiritual, you will know that it's not about your roommate. This, this is the only way to love people. So there's somebody now that you are bitter against, but you are turning your attention to the wrong person and you are giving access to spirits. The devil expects you to see promise. Promise, come, pass this way. And you just pass like that, pulling your mouth. And the devil says, this is exactly what I, I mean. I like this kind of people. They are like robots. Anything we want, they do. But the moment you are passing and he's pulling his face, and how are you? Ah, that's it. You disarm. It's a little act. But you disarm principalities and powers. Because life is spiritual. Life is spiritual. Your breakthrough is spiritual. Your husband is spiritual your wife spiritual your baby everything your exams spiritual listen 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 i'm not saying you should not read listen but i'm um, listen let me tell you the truth hear me hear me listen 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 let me tell you something no matter who you are a day will come you will sit down and look at that paper and you will know only god can help me there is a key. Let me tell you what students do after exams. And let me, that's why many people fail. They come out and then they go to somebody. There's usually somebody saying, what did you write here? Don't, don't do that thing. When you come out, walk away. Don't, I put five. You say you put 11. They say, how did it become 11? You didn't even put six. You have failed. The answer is five. Now, let me tell you what that, I'm not saying you should criticize people. Are you getting my point? When that happens to your spirit, all of a sudden you go back and say my god this is it it's over for me my whole life has finished you are helping the demons prophesy to yourself you are helping to speak whereas somebody else will know that honestly 
it's not that i'm saying you should be lazy but brothers and sisters of what use is the spirit if there's no advantage in the spirit there is an advantage we are not idiots believe me you dance an angel to your faculty you dance an angel to your department you dance an angel to open your file come on now dance your way to the admission list are you hearing what i'm saying please believe what i'm saying this is only one over four i came tonight to open your eyes stop interpreting the happenings in your life they they threw you out of the job don't sit there and say Kai, but these people even my uncle my uncle you you saw me it's not about your uncle there's something you can do about it stop calling home to listen to bad news after you listen close it and say lord i still see what you are doing i still see what you're doing are we together you hear a word and they say by the grace of god your husband is coming all of a sudden things begin to happen around you somebody just comes and says you said why are you putting this marriage sin on your head and all of a sudden you feel ashamed you feel embarrassed when a prophecy is coming you can't even lift your hands to receive it because you're saying they are seeing me they think i'm desperate for marriage they rob you of your joy they rob you of your peace you never get your miracle once you sit down then the devil uses anger you now sit down you are talking about other people's relationship and marriage tearing people down and sowing a seed that will have a boomerang effect on you because life is spiritual hear what Proverbs says it says be careful as you speak for the birds will carry your words have you seen those birds before the birds will carry your words my life is spiritual my life is spiritual I cannot stop anybody from carrying charm but I can stop it from touching me I know what to do I know what to do I can't stop the spirit of death from standing on the road, oh Kai. But there is something, there is something that even if it's the devil that drives, he will drive me safely. These are not these are not empty talks. This is what dominion is all about. I'm training you. I'm giving you spiritual intelligence. From now, when you walk out of this place, for some of you right now, there is a text message, a heavy insult waiting for you to read. Now hold on you now know that you don't just turn and call people devils but you just enter and your roommate who right now as you are here they are talking about you and the lord tells you should i tell you how to win buy five for life go and drop it and say people this is for you and you are saying uh -uh, god to be that much of an idiot no somebody that did this is this lady that stopped me from marrying she said something bad to one good military man who would have married me and god says buy malt a carton of malt and go and greet her or god will say wash their plates i know they dirtied your bed she just change it sing praises and wash your plates listen when you disarm powers you will see god rise in a fearful way are we together bitterness anger envy are more wicked than than anything you can think about they destroy you they are like a cancer that sabotages you many of our parents you know why they may never prosper they are angry at everybody there are people now if they see me coming i see people frown all is he the guy that's him how are they getting money look at this 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 young boys and so the angel the grace for the blessing is authorized to live your life because anything you don't honor cannot be your inheritance are we together now what are they be careful oh all these young guys standing how can people be standing outside are you worshiping a man are you foolish don't castigate anybody but just know that those are joy robbers the moment they start speaking know that your blessing has left heaven and it's about to come and land in your life are we together life is spiritual let me just narrow it down so that we can pray the mystery of praise in a dance in a dance you hear me talking about this dancing thing i'm not a dancer you don't have to be a dancer 
but if you want to move forward you dance anyhow to your breakthrough anyhow you are too big to dance your way to breakthrough i tell you you are too big to have an open heavens it will never never open ask david david the king the custodian of mysteries when he was dancing and rejoicing his arrogant wife came and said what is this i'm not saying you should dance in a nude and an ungodly way i don't know david's dance but i know the dance that is not david's dance let me balance it quickly i i was not there with david but i know the dance that is not david's dance there are many dance around that is not david's dance are we together david's dance comes from a genuine heart not a heart of seduction and stupidity david's dance is a genuine heart that is focused on god directed to him so let's we're talking about david's dance here david was dancing and the wife who was too big now came and said what is this thing you are doing you are a king and david said yeah 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 you don't know i was in the wilderness do you know what happened from there the wilderness that brought me here and i'm dancing and you don't know that i got you by dancing of course it's a mystery i've been practicing you are saul's daughter you don't even know how you just came like that you came as an inheritance the bible may not record it but i believe he finished his dance and carried his sling and went to goliath and said have you done your own dance goliath because if you have not done it you're about to go down hallelujah i believe in the mystery of praise please hear me the mystery of praise psalms 149 give it to us one of the mysteries will touch this night because this is a year of triumph and i will be wicked if i don't share with you the secrets i operate in my own life psalms 149 please praise ye the lord sing unto the lord a new song listen and praise him in the congregation of saints verse 2 let israel rejoice in him that had made him let the children of zion be what in who they are king three let them praise his name what let them praise his name in a dance let them sing praises to him with timbrel and harp. for we are reading down for the lord taketh pleasure in his people he will do what beautify those who are humble enough he will beautify them with salvation next verse let the saints do what be joyful in glory let them sing aloud on their listen hold on just stay there let me explain this to you he says while you are lying down and all of a sudden do you know it's when people lie down that the devil brings thoughts i hope you know the bill is still there and all of a sudden oh lord you are good i know you are faithful i know you are faithful let the even on their bed verse six now here is the warfare dimension of praise he said let the high praises of god be in their mouth and a two-edged sword in their hands next verse to execute what vengeance upon the hidden and punishment upon the people not by chasing them that while you are praising and dancing it is vengeance you are speaking in the camp of the enemy to bind their kings with chains and their nobles with fetters of iron there is something called the written judgment to execute upon them what hold on how do you execute it your own is to mind your business knowing that life is spiritual i know they said you are not from so 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 tribe they walk together and sack you don't go telling people to hate these people go to your secret place and start praising and see what happens in that office are we together it says this honor have how many the honor ex of expressing breakthrough there are some things that god gave apostles prophets teachers but he said this one this honor of experiencing breakthrough have all the saints praise ye the lord
cheap victories cheap victories by understanding life is spiritual and you carry all let me tell you another mystery carry all your challenges write it on a paper and dance before it put it on the ground and celebrate god before it like a madman don't worry just be that stupid and see what happens a child is not coming i know that me for sure i'm getting zero in this and that and begin to celebrate him celebrate him people will look at you and say what are you doing i'm praising him why what did he do no testimony you had start doing all these church things that people do like fools you're married you go and lock you and your wife and tell yourself we are dancing our next level when jesus was entering the city what did he do sat down on a donkey and had people praising and rejoicing it was that atmosphere it says psalm 100 please psalm 100 someone's life is about to change it says make a joyful noise hold on are you seeing another mystery joyful what hallelujah hallelujah listen praise the lord listen listen he didn't say make noise making noise is not good even for your health he said a joyful noise hold on do you know what a joyful noise is the revelation behind it i'm not just shouting as an idiot i'm showing you mysteries now praising a joyful noise unto the lord all ye lands verse 2 serve him with gladness look at how many times god talks about this what is the protocol for accessing his presence come before his presence with not with mourning hold on oh god i thought the other time what well, don't give me any dream again if i keep seeing money in my dream and yet nobody sends me any alert are you not the god of heaven I've been serving in koinonia let me tell you what you are doing you are just moving backward believe me believe me you are moving backward because a a broken spirit dryeth the bones verse 3 know that the lord he is god it is he that made us and not we ourselves so have this revelation he said we are the sheep of his pastures he will not deny you anything there's too much gloominess and mourning that's why i i listen to the news just for the purpose of leadership but ask anybody who knows me i have no time listening to all this analysis and all this junk this and that is happening uh this and that dollar is one million to this i don't know what happened but all i know is that for with joy shall you draw from the wells of salvation praise the lord if God calls this year a year of triumph, you must stop acting like mere men. They can predict your life. They know when money is missing from your life. Your face will show it. Anybody in this room that took what doesn't belong to him, except I'm not a member of Koinonia, you think you are being spiritual, but that's not how to disarm powers. Shaka strange principles that will lift i'm telling you this principle of praise with a dance and a shout of praise is i permit me to use the word a wicked principle you want to see speed in your life do this and see what happens make up your mind complaining the bible says do everything without complaining or arguing so that you may be called blameless children of god right the world is full of angry people do you know the classic sign that someone needs deliverance is anger anger offense everything offends you right now after koinonia they say turn and hug somebody you just turn and found out that they left you alone that alone is enough to bring anger are you not my partner why are you turning to the other person you are trying to say i'm not good enough you are giving the devil hold on don't laugh you are giving the devil access I choose to be a happy person oh. you come I'm, I'm i'm a joyous 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 he said rejoice in the lord 
and again I say again I repeat it koinonia hear me many people will laugh at what you are doing but they will not deny the result the result will be strange I guarantee you your faith must rise to the heavens to say Lord I don't want to leave this place just knowing I'm blessed I want to know what happened to me I want to hold a substance God is speaking to someone here this this sharing the grace and saying, ah were you blessed oh my God miracle service was powerful that's not a blessing no you can hold on to something and know that I left this place what happened the pain is gone I left this place what happened that before the grace is shared you check your phone and all of a sudden a text that you have been waiting for for five years now that's an evidence this is what we are talking about all of a sudden you are sitting down while you are seeing me preach you have been trusting God for that prophetic grace and while the preaching is going all of a sudden your eyes are open you are saying so this is what apostle is saying and you are seeing the power of God touching somebody and then you hear me say there's someone here and you are saying my God I've gotten this Elisha knew when he got it Elisha knew when he got it he went to the sea where is the Lord God of Elijah and the river parted you are trusting God for the grace for revelation that before the meeting is over all of a sudden scriptures it's as if it's an injection from your spirit you are just connecting one revelation to this and you're saying, I, I can't remember studying this and then you discern that something is happening something is happening that heaviness has gone where is the fear yesterday night I couldn't sleep the fear of death is gone listen Philemon chapter 1 and verse 6 says that the communication of your faith might become effectual through the acknowledging of every good thing that is in you in Christ if you don't expect it and you don't pay attention to it if I ask this gentleman to give me water I'm expectant I'm not expecting a handkerchief I'm expecting water anything I see that looks like water is attracting my attention a double-minded man let that man not think he will receive anything from God thank God for people falling and flying up and down but your eyes is stayed like a flint Lord I left Lagos this morning and I came here I left Bielsa and I came here my car almost had an accident Lord I would have been in a convention now as a man of God I left it to be here I'm looking for something let something come from heaven and your hunger is like a force that is drawing something from heaven and all of a sudden boom I tell you in one minute I remember many years ago when I was standing in the rain had Bonke crusade there were crowds of people like this I didn't know what who wore whether you wore red or green or blue my eyes were fixed Lord what did you give this man that made every nation to open to him what kind of man is this that no one criticizes him Abba, I didn't just go there to receive anointing for miracles alone no when it came I knew that I got it I knew that I got it listen my brothers and my sisters you can know that the load has been lifted you can know that the prayer has been answered you can know that the project is a done deal are we together the grace is here more than available for you and whilst we begin to pray don't just watch others receive be sensitive you are the one who knows what you are here for are we together in one minute I'd like you to open your mouth and cry. Mention specifically why are you here? Talk to the Lord. Please pray. Please pray. Pray with all your heart. Lord, I had a young man testify that you gave him properties. I had a young lady, born, had never smelled. She was not in a miracle service, just listening to a message. And all of a sudden, the healing power of God 
touches that lady and that's it lord i'm tired of this lump lord i'm tired of this medical report i'm tired of watching my mother cry my father cry i'm tired of my ministry not growing i'm tired of staying at a particular level in the anointing Lord, I've heard testimonies of favor. I have an idea of what happens when a man is carrying favor. But Lord, I don't see it yet in my life. I'm here tonight for this one reason. Lord, even after the deliverance series, I've been seeing certain things happen in my life and my family that pre-informs me that I will still need a second touch a second touch over my family my loved ones are not born again Lord I can't watch them go to hell like this Don't be tired of praying. Please cry from the depth of your heart. Lord, I'm not going back with this disease. I'm not going back with this medical report. No way. No way. No way. I insist. I'm not going back barren. Tired of miscarriages. the universe what can you do what can you do Jesus you're the name above every other name what can you change what can you change Jesus one more time creator Creator of the universe, what can you do? What can you do, Jesus? I want you to see the Lord lifting your burdens. You're the name above every other name. What can you change? What can you change, Jesus? You are able, great and mighty God. You are able, Jesus. You are able, great and mighty God. You are able. I will continue to read it for you Isaiah chapter 61 please give it to us the messianic prophecy Jesus's own manifesto he's saying this is what I came to do Isaiah 61 it says the spirit of the Lord we're reading from verse 1 to 4 is upon me because the Lord hath anointed me to preach good tidings to the meek he had sent me to bind up the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the captives. Start looking for your own as I'm reading. And the open.
opening of the prison to them that are bound verse 2 to proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord and the day of vengeance of our God to comfort all those that mourn three to appoint unto them that mourn in Zion to give them beautiful ashes the oil of joy for mourning the garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness that they might be called the oaks of righteousness the planting of the Lord that he might be glorified for and they shall build the old wastes they shall raise up the former desolations they shall repair waste cities he says the desolations of many generations I like you to pray whatever needs to be fixed in your life and family insist that tonight is the night when it will happen overflow one pray overflow two overflow three by the roadside those following from around the world open up your heart and pray from the depth of your heart hallelujah hallelujah the Lord just showed me something like a train you know a speed train not like we have it now just like a train just pass like this and I believe in my spirit that that is a typology of a grace for speed listen we are going to pray now and like I always say you will find out when I pray you are going to see people running around in and out please just guide them and bring them out ushers whether you are an usher or not the ushers can only do so much I want to pray once I pray that prayer listen please I don't want you to get listen please hold on I don't want it, the idea is not about people falling down carrying them please let your spirit be open be open for when your word will come be open for when god will visit and locate you that, that's that's what you're here for so i want to pray that prayer now jesus <laughs> i'm seeing a lot of those people at overflow one a lot of the people who will be affected by this prayer I know overflow one, the overflow outside. You see, let me tell you this. When a man, listen, when a man does not have speed in his life, you don't have the entire lifetime to do all that you should do. It, it takes more than just power, right? Please help those in overflow one, my God. I'm seeing very strange angelic activities happening already at overflow one outside. Now, listen when there is no speed in your life listen imagine that i have to walk from here to maybe the roadside and i'm tiptoeing on one leg am i moving yes sir but when will you arrive there the pressure that you will mount on this leg it will affect you to a point that you may not even stand it and so god when he wanted elijah to move because he had already been delayed the Bible says the hand of the Lord came upon Elijah. He was empowered of the Spirit and he ran. I, I, I'm, I'm saying this before I pray so that you don't just think it's about anointing and people running around. No. When that grace comes upon you, what God is saying is I'm ready to shift you that within a short time,
time you will see a lot happen in your life in three days the work of redemption was done three days this powerful redemption did not happen in 12 years it happened in three days by the end of three days jesus had ascended poured his blood returned back he was ready it was now to launch the church big things don't have to take plenty time when the hand of god comes upon you you will see that a defining moment in your life can happen so fast are you ready now lift your hands i want to pray i will do the praying thank you jesus the lord is asking me to shout jesus not you now i'm the one shouting jesus i'm going to shout it and at the third time i tell you it's going to be an avalanche of the power of god let me have those people out lord you are bringing speed to your people and i know that there are angels all around it's time to change people's levels and even as you have instructed me oh god as i declare that name that is above every other name i pray that anyone under the sound of my voice who has been crippled in one position that in the name of the god of heaven an anointing will shift that person into his destiny jesus that's number one mm. jesus that's number two get ready now jesus let that anointing right now i shift man speed speed to your life oh god let every delay be broken now i command the spirit of delay be broken speed i shift you by the power of the holy ghost help that woman please help that mama there please help them whether you are an usher or not speed speed in the name of jesus i command everything that has refused to move in your life i move it by the power of the holy ghost i'm still praying i'm still praying the holy ghost is moving you except this prayer is not for you there is an anointing that must shift you must shift you by the power of the holy ghost lord shift them to their destinies please you will need to help the ushers whether you are an usher or not just just help them there's only so much we can do there's no power that keeps you down this is miracle service lift your hands please i'm praying For some of you now, it's the same prayer, but it's no longer just for you. You may not be experiencing it, but your family needs speed. The anointing now is moving from individuals to families. Lord, where are the families that need the shift of the Holy Ghost? I decree and declare right now, I speak by this apostolic and prophetic grace. Families be shifted now. Speed, speed, speed speed kaparakoto shegeta i decree it i declare it i decree it and i declare it no more delay I stretch my hands I'm seeing an angel of the Lord just on this road I stretch my hands right now I move people God is moving people here I decree it I declare I decree I declare I decree I declare by the power of the Holy Ghost in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus it must work for you I shift you no more delay in your life
this lady wearing hijab right now the lord is shifting you that lady in the name of jesus i stretch my hands let the anointing of the spirit take away delay from your life right now in the name of jesus now all those in front i'm praying any chain that has tied anyone's leg or any family at the count of three i speak into the realm of the spirit those chains go now one two three go 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 i lose those families now i command chains be broken now let the families be set free in the name of jesus young lady lift your hands you you put in your hand on your mouth. yes I'm seeing an angel pouring oil on you and the Lord is saying that he's shifting things I'm seeing like a chain on your head being broken now I stretch my hands right now in the name of Jesus let that chain be broken let that chain I command that devil I'm seeing a snake in the spirit let her go now in the name of Jesus hallelujah be sensitive i want to pray a very serious prayer now he said behold i give you authority over snakes and scorpions if you don't like the prayer and pray no problem but i want to pray a dangerous prayer i'm seeing snakes this is what i'm seeing over families now let me tell you this reptilian objects is a representation of the spirit of sorcery in the name that is above all names i declare every spirit that has caged any family here i decree and i declare right now by the power of the holy ghost in the name of jesus and at the count of three everyone shout jesus as you shout jesus i see fire everywhere inside and outside there is massive deliverance about to happen I command every devil and every activity of sorcery to leave now. One, two, three. In the name of Jesus, I crush Satan. I crush his works inside, outside. I command every power, every force. Go now. Go now. Hallelujah. Please be sensitive. Just give me the volume. I'm seeing fire by my left and right. Just bring out all the people that fall under the anointing now. As I'm walking here. In the name of Jesus, I command that devil. You must go now. You must go now. You must go now. I declare it by the anointing of the Holy Ghost. As soon as I come close to you, that fire, and there is an anointing. You can't stand it. It's impossible. As soon as I come close to you, as soon as I come close to you, that fire, there is a judgment. Let them go now. I'm coming this way right now in the name of jesus the power of god is coming this area this direction let them go now release them i come by the anointing of the holy ghost let them go now let them go now release them i'm seeing someone here tied around the stomach release them now let them go in the name of jesus let them go now by the power of the Holy Ghost I stretch my hands here 
right now the fire of God is setting people free now lose them lose them lose them lose them lose them lose them now lose them lose them in the name of Jesus lose them now those outside lift your hands God is about to set you free please I like you to pray everyone pray enough is enough tonight everyone pray everyone pray now listen overflow one listen to me listen you don't have to touch me please you don't have to touch me but in the name of Jesus hear me the Lord brought me out here because the time has come for something to leave someone as soon as I pass here I don't have to come close to you you are going to feel fire all all over that fire that will be the end of it you must testify right now I stretch my hands right right now it's over over now Shakos Katanika Eketo Santa Rikata Embre Keto Sheketa Akato Shekriaka Manta Brekotos Let them go 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 now the spirit of sorcery I cause it now the spirit of witchcraft I cause it now please help your neighbor so they don't enjoy themselves go go be free I command that power by fire by fire by fire it leaves you now those of you here I want you to lift your hands overflow two overflow two lift your hands let me go to the front there enough is enough as I pass this place listen I want you to be very sensitive there is a strong anointing tonight overflow too please help your neighbors I'm only going to pass here right there as soon as I come close to you except God is not God if there is any force holding you holding your life and your ministry it must go right now right now in Jesus name be free be free now be free now be free now I command those devils go 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 let them go 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 now release them release them release them every covenant release them I break that power now 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 be broken hallelujah praise the Lord praise the Lord now listen I didn't know we have an extra overflow here I want to pray for those by the side here as I stretch my hands to you please don't waste your time I'm seeing fire already here in the name of Jesus at the count of three those of you by the roadside one two let them go by the power of the Holy Ghost I release you please help them so they don't injure themselves I declare I decree and I declare you are free praise the Lord overflow three your life is about to change listen listen honestly there is there is an anger in my spirit because as i entered i'm just seeing chains everywhere right now in the name of jesus at the count of three bring all of them out from the front to the back right now at the count of three overflow three all of you shout jesus one two three every power bring them out every yoke every force every operation of darkness bring them out I'm seeing chains on people's feet chains 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 be broken now 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 chains be broken now
Hallelujah. Bring them out. Overflow three, lift your hands and see praying. Listen, I'm seeing, I'm seeing patterns. Something that is not just happening to you alone, happening to your father, your mother. As soon as I pray now, I'm seeing fire all over this place. Anyone under that case, you must be free now. At the count of three, anyone holding any pattern, any generational thing in the name that is above all names, at the count of three, one, two, three. Shout Jesus. Bring them out. That devil must let you go today. My God, look at what God is doing in overflow three. Shaprakato shekete skaba emprakato koto shabaria. Look at what God is doing in this place. Emprakete kete keto shabarukatos. Hallelujah. Listen to me. The Lord is showing me. I'm coming back. But I don't know why God is, is, is on the case of overflow three. The Lord is showing me some of you. I'm seeing you are climbing a ladder. But that ladder breaks down and brings you down. You see things as if it's supposed to happen. But a force draws you back. The moment someone wants to lift you. You will have a dream in the night. And in that, in that dream someone will come to sleep with you or something will happen right now at the count of three shout jesus i command those devils one two three let them go now let them go now total emancipation hallelujah Jakakos kaparusi kata hasana katushia embreka takatos kata preketish. Now, now, all those who are under the anointing here outside, I pass a decree that every power that has held you, I speak as one send at the count of three. Let them go. One, two, three. Go, 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 go. Let them go. Lose your hold over their lives. Let them go now. Let them go now. Let them go now. Hallelujah. I'm inside this place now. And I'm standing in the spirit. I've not started impartation yet. But the Lord is showing me the number 12. And the Lord is saying there are 12 people here. There is a strong call upon your life. There is a mighty anointing. Lord, where are they? Shakatos kapakarikata. Drink of that wine. Mantekatos ketekekata. Shaprakata. A ministry of signs and wonders. Ministry of signs and wonders. A ministry of signs and wonders. A ministry of signs and wonders. Signs and wonders. Signs and wonders. I'm still praying. The anointing of the spirit is still locating men. I don't know why God is talking about ministry. The call. Don't run away from the call. Don't run from the call. A ministry of signs and wonders. The Lord is telling someone, you are the liberator of your family. A ministry of signs. Signs, 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 signs. There are ladies here entering that ministry of signs and wonders. Signs and wonders. Hallelujah. Main auditorium, lift your hands. I'm seeing, I'm seeing a distribution of the healing anointing going on in the main auditorium. And I stretch my hands from here. It doesn't matter what overflow. You just be sensitive to what God is doing. Main auditorium. I'm seeing eight people. Eight people in the main auditorium. At the count of three. 
right now in the name of Jesus fire will come upon your hands I'm prophesying to the main auditorium but everybody can receive I decree and declare that healing anointing one two three let that anointing come now let it come now fresh fire hallelujah listen listen i'm seeing oh my god the lord is opening my eyes here i'm i'm seeing someone don't don't be ashamed and don't be embarrassed your father i don't know if i'm seeing something like a priest this is someone that worships something like an idol is in your house i'm not saying you're a bad person please i'm not saying you're a bad person you grew up seeing this happen that they worship those idols that gentleman is here in overflow three oh, oh, oh yeah please who is that person come i want to break that thing now from your life please quickly please make sure you hear what i say before you come just let make way for them the power of witchcraft young man you're going to be a mighty man of god i don't know you lift your hands an anointing is coming upon you now huh? it will shift you to a realm of signs and wonder or let that anointing come upon him right now in the name of jesus christ hold my hands my dear the power of idols in the name of jesus i break that force now i break that force now i break the force now testimony of breakthrough for you and for your family in the name of jesus in the name of jesus in the name of jesus hallelujah i'm praying listen i stretch my hands towards you and i speak i don't know what it is that you have been involved in but in jesus name i'm stretching my hands why am i seeing fire leaving my hands who is it looking for in the name of jesus christ I command everything that is not of God be broken now. The blood be broken now. By the blood be broken now. By the blood be broken now. By the blood be broken now. Hallelujah. Just two more things I'll do here. Whether I'm in this overflow or not, I just stood here to show you that it makes no difference. I know the larger congregation is here. Lift your hands, all of you, if you can. Just lift it as high to the heavens. Now, I'm seeing, you don't have to come out, but I'm seeing keys in the spirit. Listen, this is access to a new dimension. And I'm seeing the number 44. Just lift your hands. You don't need to say anything. Father, I stand as one sent. Those keys are locating families and locating people. It may be a key that explains why things have not been working. Lord, from the front to the back, like a mighty wind, whoever must receive that key, receive it now. Receive it now. Receive it now. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. let her go now out out now now this lady wearing a red hair tie in the name of jesus i'm seeing a grace that is coming let that anointing come upon you in the name of jesus christ 
let that anointing come upon you hallelujah overflow three I'm seen by the spirit the Lord is opening my eyes and I'm seeing the names of members of your family like written already written already I'm going to pray listen except God has not sent me as I'm praying some of you instantly the power of God will come upon you and God is going to open your eyes you are going to see victory and deliverance in fact I see a family where three of your siblings they've married none of them has a child none of them at all has a child they've done everything to do but there's no child but I stand in the name of the Lord father where are those families right now like a mighty wind like a mighty wind oh god let it end right now let there be an opening let there be an opening let there be an opening in the name that is above all names let there be an opening young lady come call that lady for me call this gentleman too this man yes bring him in the name of jesus you need to be delivered I command the spirit that torments you to go now by the power of the Holy Ghost I release you my dear hold my hands to you I'm seeing that your life is about to change two weeks from now it will surprise you what the Lord is going to do in your life I decree and I declare it over your life I stand by the anointing and I pray for you father according to your word within two weeks turn this lady's life around supernaturally in the name of jesus emeka who is emeka emeka i'm hearing a name emeka overflow three here i'm just talking to overflow three people emeka emeka please quickly please quickly don't waste our time where is that gentleman what's your name i want to pray what do you do I'm going to pray for you. You are not from this place. You came for NYSE. I want to pray. Lift your hands. Because I'm seeing, look at me. The Lord is giving you the grace for wealth. Huh? I want you to believe it. But every prosperity that does not have an assignment will end up destroying the people. You love Jesus with all your heart? I want to pray for you. It will surprise you the way God will begin to turn things around in your life. Father, change this gentleman's story in the name of Jesus forever overflow three I'm still praying the spirit of prophecy is coming on nine people I will count four at the fourth count one two three where are they oh God four nine people nine people the spirit of prophecy the spirit of prophecy all of you open your mouth and begin to pray everything you desire overflow three open your mouth and decree open your mouth and decree i'm seeing an anointing around here who is that person i stretch my hands i'm seeing chains breaking just within this region as i'm standing here father let the chains be broken now the anointing of the spirit find that person let the chains be broken right now right now right now right now right now right now be broken now Please, everyone pray. Everyone pray. Everyone pray. Everyone pray. Hold on. There's someone here. The Lord is saying, I'm rolling away your shame. I'm seeing light. As I was just passing, I just saw light. Two people. Let the anointing find those people now. Two people. Right now, I decree. Overflow two. Right now. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. I decree and declare by the anointing of the Holy Ghost shame reproach let it go now shame 
reproach let it go now shame reproach help them let it go now in the name of jesus christ who is gabriel 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 i'm hearing a name who is gabriel is there someone like that you are wearing a maroon you are wearing like maroon kaftan gabriel maroon kaftan is there someone like that what's your name do i know you lift your hands my brother god is about to change your life god is about to turn your life around uh, where are you coming from i want to pray for you you love jesus what is is it oleku or aleku what is that huh huh where are you from benway state you are from benway state this is what has tied down your life and your family i want to pray for you i'm not a herbalist eh? father in the name of jesus let this gentleman be free right now i command that devil to leave you now just keep him there in the name of jesus these two people this gentleman you yes and the lady by you come quickly please low 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 like a mighty wind spirit of victory what did you do my friend you're a student you love jesus i want to pray for you huh yes, are you together yes sir because i saw light on you husband and wife yes please, sir. well i'm not going to discuss your issue now but two of you need deliverance eh? you love jesus but you need serious deliverance based on what i'm seeing now huh you are not husband and wife yet but i'm seeing a lot of stories father in the name of jesus look at me you're going to be very wealthy but the first thing you need to edit are your friends huh hear what i'm telling you huh my, uh, my sister you know what i'm saying right huh so your friends huh confirm sir listen to me you are not truly born again if your friends don't change hear it from me all this born again that is one leg and you have all kinds of friends if if i am a drunkard and you are not a drunkard but we are staying together i'm close to a drunkard that means i can be implicated by everything a drunkard can be implicated by is that true so my friend you love god there eh? but you see um look at what i'm doing one leg in one leg out huh don't be embarrassed when i make the altar call you need to run and come quickly jesus is not just some religious thing that you just run to just for no 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 no. Let, let's take god serious and take him look what i see my friend i see god turning your life in a way that will surprise you but friends and this is not just a message to this gentleman alone it's a message to many of us because the demons that destroy our lives work by bringing wrong friends they make you compromise your values it's not your fault but when they come they are vocal about what they believe and because you do not have a community of like-minded believers but let me tell you the truth it matters who you listen to if the devil positions a wrong person to counsel you and they give you a counsel of a hit or fail god may be calling you to a great ministry but you will hear a counsel that would destroy god's purpose over your life i pray for everyone here that in the name of jesus if you are under the yoke of wrong friends i stand and i speak right now may the lord set you free this night in the name of jesus christ my dear there is favor on your life but it's not speaking at all hmm? you are a nice lady come i'm looking at you i'm seeing a young lady but i'm seeing the face of you and another old woman flashing me and going back see wickedness is real oh. let me tell you my brothers and my sisters wickedness is real huh this is a young beautiful lady you see her standing but you now look at it do you know let me explain something whatever overflow just listen i want to explain something you see this is the mistake that we men of god make sometimes i can look at a beautiful lady like this now and see the face of an old woman and if my word base is not sound and balanced i will i will interpret the vision i've seen verbatim and now call her a witch you see the mistake we make 
that we call people and then assuming now they are married i will now advise him and say mr man you married a witch oh you do you know what it means to be a witch so god is you see that god is is balancing a lot of things in our lives let's be careful because sometimes we may see a vision i already know what is happening it is true that the lady needs help but it doesn't mean imagine that i look at this lady now and say my you're a witch no this is a lovely she has a beautiful heart i already see by the spirit very beautiful heart but it beauty and a good heart does not take away oppression it takes the power of god how terrible art thou in your ways through the greatness of thy power shall thy enemies submit themselves so many of you are here you find out for instance the moment you enter a relationship come for instance as you mean i enter a relationship with this lady and you find out that there may be something wrong in her life and it starts affecting me have you seen that happen i'm doing well in business but just because i married this lady i start going down and now you meet a man of god and if the man if you're in ministry here please be careful you have to trust god for grace to be balanced are we together i can now look at this lady and say ah your wife is the reason behind your failure um what i'm trying to say is that oh there might be a spirit connected to her that is affecting me and the works of my hands but it doesn't mean she's bad a good man of god will bring about that separation and then through the transforming power of the word now help this couple to stand and become the best of couple because a body without a spirit is dead so it's not about condemning and destroying the body are you getting it now so my dear let me tell you you're a wonderful lady huh we are going to deal with this nonsense now this whatever it is that the devil is because this thing is affecting your life you don't know why good things don't come to you you're a very nice lady hold my hands father hold it with both of your hands i decree and declare ah halushia kaprahasku de bakatuskia i'm seeing fire leaving my hands in the name of jesus I command this devil I'm seeing through the face of this old woman be gone now. My dear, I set you free and I open the door of favor for you right now. Please, everybody, lift your hands. I'm seeing, I've not seen this in a long time. I'm seeing the map of Nigeria and I'm seeing an anointing going to Benway State. Benway State now. Benway State. You are from Benway State. You see that that power will touch you. Even if you don't know what state you are from. Benway State. Lord, where is In the name of Jesus. The power of God is bringing deliverance. Benway State. In the name that is above all names. In the name that is above all names. In the name of Jesus. Madam, I'm going to pray for you. Two things. I'm seeing that the devil wants to put stroke complete stroke the devil wants to paralyze you from head to toe but we're going to destroy that now in the name of jesus hold my hands i decree and declare be free now by the power of the holy spirit madam i don't know you but ah you please come ah. this is your first time coming i need to pray for you what do you do ma you are jobless ma Huh? I'm looking at you and I'm seeing in the realm of the spirit two of your hands are tied there is nothing you do that works and prospers it's not normal you are a very good woman please don't be embarrassed I hope I'm not embarrassing you I want to pray for you I give you three weeks 21 days ma your life will turn around in a way that will surprise you I lay my hands right now and I declare I'm seeing chains leaving you I command those chains to go father turn her life around in the name of jesus in the name of jesus please open your mouth and begin to pray hold on hold my hands in the name of jesus christ i open that closed door now i open that closed door now by the power of the holy ghost please open your mouth and begin to pray everyone open your mouth and pray The Lord is asking me to stand here, just here, just to stand here. Because the Lord is bringing breakthrough here and here, here and here, right now, here and here. I command right now by the power of the Holy Spirit, 
every planting that is not of god i uproot it now i uproot it now i uproot it now lift your voice and begin to pray please lift your voice and begin to pray in the name of jesus lift your voice and begin to pray lift your voice and begin to pray hallelujah praise the lord i know our time is gone we are going to be very fast sir you're welcome sir can i pray for you sir why are they here priest you sir you are a priest i served my father served and died sorry where are you from sir i'm from my lord sir i want to pray for you the bible says even the lawful captives even the lawful captives my brothers and my sisters you will be surprised to see what happens in your life after this miracle service this this woman come madam you yes come please quickly come we're out of time say in jesus name say it in jesus name my life is about to change say it again say in jesus name reproach is leaving me now in the name of jesus let it go forever in jesus name sir i hold your hands and in the name of jesus every ordinance that is not of god help him i command that it is broken right now you are an elderly man but i use you as a point of contact we break every ordinance of darkness this this lady too priest you your dad your father is a priest currently oh where Oshun state don't be embarrassed eh? you are here because jesus wants to help you lord jesus it is not your will that any man perish but that everyone comes to the knowledge of the truth i deliver this lady right now everything they have given you to drink and eat i stand by the rod of a higher priesthood and i set you free now be gone now out let it leave her i'm seeing that the father has given her so many things in her life but in the name of jesus hi jesus power is really super power really super power that in one moment something that has been done in a lifetime can live out now everything that is not of god a father is a priest or not her uncle direct father imagine how many times she has been involved in all of these things but in jesus name you are set free this this man too why is he here look at my eyes just look at my eyes you are receiving the healing anointing now eh? in the name of jesus christ lord grant him access to the healing anointing your healing power now oh dear our time is gone this is sometimes i honestly wish that this this because there are so many things i see but we have to work with time this lady you come hurry up now please come uh, we're out of time wonderful lady look at me you are a savior to your family you hear what i said you are a savior you may look small but you are a savior to your family the only thing is that you need to continually be serious with God. Your heart with him. Your heart with him. Hold my hands. Father, in the name of Jesus, I take away distraction from her life. Right now, by the anointing of the Holy Spirit, I take away distraction. I take away distraction. I, we have we've not even prayed for the sick. Or... My dear, come. This lady waving your hands. Come quickly. Your life is about to change. Come. Where are you coming from? You are coming from Abuja. I'm here with my husband. Husband, where are you, sir? Let's clap for the husband. Two of you came from Abuja. Last time. You came with? For SOM. Came. I can't remember. You came with your... Oh, your son was a graduate of SOM. No, we came with him. Oh, okay. I want to pray. What do you do, sir? 
Sir, I want to pray for you. Eh? Things are not working. You need the anointing. You are a sincere man. My dear, the prophetic grace is coming on you as I'm speaking now. In the name that is above all names, I stretch my hands. That anointing, you will start having dreams. Receive that grace. Two of you need empowerment. Ministry ministry without genuine empowerment will make it look as if you are wasting your time are you a man of god stand up stand up take that anointing now in the name of jesus you step into a new dimension i take away shame and reproach from your life and ministry from today you step into a realm of signs wonders miracles in the name of jesus can i pray for you sir look at me hold my hands hold my hands just hold it with both of your hands in the name of jesus i transfer grace signs and wonders strange testimonies your business between now and 30th of november sir your finances will change you and your wife in ways that will surprise you you will come back and testify in the name of jesus christ this man waving your hands come together with that woman by your side who is she come please two of you quickly let's appreciate them as they come oh, oh, oh. you sir i want to pray for you ah. madam i'm looking at you you're a nice woman but i'm seeing you carrying a load huh i'm seeing you like this and i'm seeing a load on your head and if i don't pray for you this load is going to destroy you i want to pray for you where are you coming from are you new here uh, by elsa by elsa hmm. all the way i think we should appreciate them <laughs> what do you do sir I'm a pastor. You're a pastor. You're in ministry, both of you? Evangelist. My ministry is separate. Your ministry is separate, evangelist. but both of you came from yes, Bielsa. Came together, you're an evangelist. Yes. You pastor a church? Yes. How long has it been? Okay, I was uh, about four years now in Bielsa. But you were somewhere? Yes, I was in Abuja. You were in Abuja? Yes. And then you left Abuja and went to Bielsa. Do you know what happened? Is it your church now? You're serving someone else's church. Okay, I want to pray for you. Because what I see God do through your life, I'm seeing God giving you two things. The grace for leadership, number one. Number two, the grace for finances. These two graces, God is giving it to you. I don't know you, sir. I'm seeing you for the first time. Ma, you're an evangelist. I'm going to pray for you. What do you do? You hold crusades and all of that? No, I, I usually have meetings every month and then I speak on radio. I have a live radio. I do my evangelical on radio and then. Oh, you do a live radio? Yes, live radio talk show. Three things one, barrenness. Two, poverty. Three, witchcraft. You are carrying the grace to smash nonsense out of these three things as you are going back. Don't forget. Huh? The same grace on you, I'm seeing it come on this lady, this one, this one, this lady I'm talking to. I want to pray for you. Sir, this thing is an election of grace. You see, I'm, I'm also a spectator, the same way you are watching, me too I'm watching. With wonder and shock, the way this thing works. That God can just change a man's life overnight overnight evangelist my hold my hands father this is a dear woman of god all the way from bielsa i stand by the anointing of the holy spirit and i declare fresh anointing fresh dimensions in the spirit and i pray madam the lord is asking me to pray for your finances seriously for your finances and then the lord is saying i should tell you to pray for faithful workers I'm seeing you do a program for women when you go back. This thing I'm seeing is going to be a powerful program.
program there is a program in abuja that looks like what you would do it's called when women pray i'm seeing that same kind of grace on you that you are going back to bielsa and god is giving you uncommon grace for women in the name of jesus i decree and i declare you carry that grace right now madam my god will honor you ah in the name of jesus supernatural grace drink of that wine sir i'll pray for you the grace for leadership the grace for finance but i'm ah, it's not only pastoring i'm seeing you do what else do you do i manufacture paint you manufacture paint that's right sir what am i seeing this is somebody it's, it's not directly the government but this is somebody that is connected to the government the lord is going to connect him to you it's, it has something to do with supplies that thing will make you millions overnight in a way that it will surprise you please write it you will see it happen father in the name of jesus i pray for this man of god i stretch my hands drink of that wine that anointing drink of that wine you will never be the same i stretch my hands i take away every limitation from your life and i decree and i declare your life turns around from today in the name of jesus give jesus praise goodness 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 can we still pray for the sick we can't close this without praying for the sick In the name of Jesus, be healed from it now. I command that devil, that virus, go now. In the name of Jesus, you go and write your test, bring back your results. Go. Listen, I, can we? Time is gone. Oh dear. You see how sometimes this thing we are really constrained. That's why we do our best. The healing anointing is already flowing. God wants to heal maybe i'll just pray i'll just pray for the sick from here we'll do it that way right but make no mistakes just that you that you are not coming out doesn't mean i want to pray for you now we'll take a few testimonies now in the last three or four months i have seen i don't know why this happens but i have seen a dimension of the healing power of god very creative miracles so i want to pray you are trusting god for a miracle lay your hand right now on your body quickly i want to pray for you now please believe god for a miracle now this is what will happen overflow one two three the roadside and then those following us online our time is gone but as soon as I pray for you now, I pray for you, the power of God is going to come upon you. I'm going to ask you to check yourself. Praise the Lord. We may not take all the testimonies, but since we have chosen this method now, as soon as I pray, I ask you to check yourself. You will be surprised what has happened to you. And whether you are in overflow one, two, or three, I'm going to ask you to run very quickly. You're going to come right here. Pastor Jimmy will be here with Pastor Alpha. They will just check you and we'll take one or two of the testimonies and i'll just confirm that um how many of you brought your prayer request let me see did you bring your prayer request okay ushers this is what you, i want you to do pr department help them protocol please help them while i'm praying for the sick i think we can do it too your prayer request please make sure that your prayer request or that of your loved ones get to the ushers just lift it the ushers have a system of collecting it you don't have to be rowdy those outside you can pass it to the last person in the aisle if you will not bring any confusion you can have that very quickly please lay your hands now i want to pray jesus A lady in overflow one is going to shout a loud shout for everybody to hear as soon as that shout happens i'll begin to pray for the sick very loud shout from overflow one a strong anointing 
is coming on that person the moment that happens that's the shout there now i'm ready to pray for the sick in the name please agree with me everyone in the name of jesus christ I decree and declare right now those under the anointing you don't have to bring them out I'm, I'm praying now every spirit of infirmity please make sure you are hearing me overflow one two three every spirit of infirmity right now by the power of the Holy Ghost I curse you now I curse you now say amen I curse you now in the name of Jesus I command every spirit behind every infirmity over anyone's life be healed now in Jesus name be healed my God the power of God is touching people already be healed in the name of Jesus be healed in the name of Jesus be healed in the name of Jesus overflow one two three by the roadside be healed in the name of Jesus now I command every blood condition be healed from it now in Jesus name peptic ulcer the Lord is healing ulcer right now be healed in the name of Jesus Christ be healed in the name of Jesus Christ lumps all kinds of lumps multiple lumps I command those devilish lumps to live now in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ I'm seeing a number of people having um, hepatitis the Lord is healing hepatitis right now by the power of the Holy Ghost eye conditions in the name of Jesus you're going to feel fire just come to your eyes be healed right now in the name of Jesus be healed in the name of Jesus every pain that has to do with the bones I decree and declare let the power of God touch you right now there's someone you have severe pain around your back just right here your lumbar vertebra in the name of Jesus I stretch my hands be healed right now in Jesus name be healed in Jesus name there's someone you don't hear well with your this is left left ear and then sometimes you just hear like a sharp you know how bees are that sound the power of God is touching you right now in the name of Jesus every kind of fibroid every kind of growth in your stomach in the name of Jesus be healed from it now be healed from it now be healed from it now now whether I mention your case or not whatever is wrong with you I stretch my hands and I declare be healed in the name of Jesus be healed in the name of Jesus some of you when you fell under the anointing long before I started praying for the sick you got up and found out that you have been healed now overflow one if they are coming here for the healing please just clear the way for them overflow one overflow two overflow three and the roadside I'll give you a minute those online if you're healed you can you know just just send it as an inbox on our Facebook page or you can find a way to post it I want you to check yourself now within a minute or two the moment you find out that the power of God has touched you make your way some of you you get up under the anointing you find out that the pain there's a lady who has a severe case of bleeding go and check yourself the bleeding is gone gone completely and I'm seeing someone heaviness around the chest is just lifted gone like that please check yourself very quickly and come we may not take all the testimonies but at least let's take a few while we are doing that let me have all the prayer requests very quickly god bless you check yourself quickly koinonia are you celebrating jesus the lord is touching people show them where to come look at look at god touching people already please make your way make your way the power of god has touched you those outside overflow one overflow two clear the way for them just come you can stand on the queue there and let's have one or two testimonies god bless you koinonia are you celebrating miracles here yeah. Make your way. Be bold. Don't be ashamed. Make your way as soon as the power of God has touched you. Back pain since hold last on, year. Hold on, hold on, just a moment, please. All make sure if 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 your prayer request has not been collected, 
Please, I want you to wave it. Jesus is still healing people. You just come join the queue. God bless you. Yes, please. Back pain since last year. Can healed. you sit for a, a few minutes? Just sit for a few minutes and then we're done. Let's just hear the testimonies. If, as you are hearing the testimony, God is still healing people. And I want you to make your way and then come to. Okay, go ahead, Pastor Alpha. My God, the... God is still touching people. I'm seeing people being touched even in overflow three. Overflow three. Check yourself right now and make your way. Yes, please. You go mentioned ahead. the case of back pain. She's been having the problems this last month, back but pain. she's healed now. How long? Come, my dear. Let's have another mic, please. Anytime we're doing this, please, technically, it should be a standard procedure. You should know what we're doing, please. So that we don't delay unnecessarily. How long, my dear? Since last month. Yes. In the name of Jesus Christ, I decree and declare it never returns again by the power of the Holy Spirit back pain gone forever heaviness in the chest disappeared how long my dear just when you came here in the name of jesus hold my hands um i'm seeing someone you had something like a a growth around your neck check it now you'll be surprised to find out it's gone gone completely gone completely by the power of the holy ghost gone completely in jesus name i declare that every operation of darkness over you is gone in jesus name give jesus praise deafness in the left ear since 2012 since 2012 oh come on koinonia how long my friend a man of god told me about in 2012 and i prayed but i was hearing those b sounds and i don't hear really which of them the left ear. put your hand there now in the name of jesus it never never returns to you by the power of the holy spirit yes all sir you mentioned also awesome. how long yes. okay where are you from kaduna, sir. kaduna state yes, sir. that's where you are from yes, your state of origin um, no, biologically biologically where no, are you from i'm from each Patakot. i mean I'm from state. I don't know there's a reason why i said this there's a lot you don't know where you are from there is a long story leave the issue of healing now where eh? i need to pray for you don't feel bad huh Look at me. Where are your parents? Who are you staying with? My mom and my, my stepdad at Kaduna. Okay, it's okay. I'll talk to you. Eh? Father, help this gentleman. Because this gentleman is a great gentleman, but there is a lot I'm seeing in your life. I crush the hand of darkness over your life now. And I declare be free in Jesus' All, name. Sir, Koinonia, you are pain. not celebrating. You are so used to miracles in this place. He was feeling the May pain, God but as you prayed for him, it left. It's gone completely. How long? Since July. July. In the name of Jesus Christ, may the Lord perfect you. Apostle, you mentioned someone with pain at the back. It was her for the past three years. What's your name, my dear? Juliana. Juliana. You mentioned something, the lower... Uh, the, the lower back pain. It affected her left leg also. This pain in Check her back. Check it now. Check it. Check it. Any pain? Yes, it's gone completely. Give the Jesus last three praise. years. <laughs> In the name of Jesus Christ, it never returns to you again. Please make sure that we have the request. If you are still yet, if you are still with your own, wave it. Just wave it and an usher will come. Look at that man. And you are sitting quietly there. You wave it and let them know. Pain at the back, completely healed. Pain at the back. You fell under the anointing. I ah, see you looking. In the name of Jesus. It's, it's a good baguette, my friend. Huh? If you fall under the anointing, and your destiny arises it's a wise bargain is that true in the name of jesus christ i decree and declare never again in your life the power of god is coming on someone in overflow one overflow one please carry the person and bring the person overflow one the overflow by the roadside Overflow 2, sorry. Overflow 2, I meant to say. Ah, look how powerful the power of God is. I said overflow 1 and nothing happened. I just said overflow 2. Then I now went to say... She's had pain on the left, left shoulder since How long, my dear? Seven. Let her talk. How long? 2007. You've had what? I've had this pain. It will come and go, come and go. But today it has been intense. But when you mentioned the case, the pain left. It's gone completely. Check yourself. Do what you couldn't do. Up, down. Come. 
in the name of Jesus Christ. I will pray, but the person I'm talking about is overflow two. Overflow two. The overflow by the roadside. So you bring the person in the name of Jesus. Perfection for you right now. In Jesus' name. She's had serious um, back pain. That back she pain. had to start horse riding so that you can correct. But today they asked you to ride a gone. horse? Yes. Who said you should ride a horse? The doctor? Yeah. Or just advisors? <laughs> don't, don't She's shy. <laughs> the horse. This is the man. It's amazing how you come for koinonia minding yourself and you are surprised to see people just carrying you and you are wondering where am I going to? Hi. The anointing. Amazing. Let me just talk to them and then don't worry do your horse thing eh i'm just happy that you are healed so you can go and ride your horse now for fun in the name of jesus you are perfected completely perfected in jesus name i take away this proverb called ichabod over your life and over your family i'm speaking to both of you now from overflow too in the name of jesus i set you free and i decree and declare that that proverb shall no longer be mentioned in your life it will no longer be Ichabod in Jesus name I'm coming here but you are the one I'm talking to where eh? Debbie it's not the this person you hold this one don't worry they'll hold her in the name of Jesus the Lord is saying he is going to use you to change everything in your family it will be like a dream but he is going to use you he's making you a savior over your family don't ask how it's going to happen It's by the anointing the spirit entered me when he speak unto me that God is going to use you and change everything in your family in the name of Jesus yes go ahead she's had severe menstrual pain since she started menstruating that resulted in serious back pain how Came old are you now pain this evening sir how old are you now 21 21 and she's had severe menstrual pain yes and she came here with the pain today but the don't pain believe is gone. that thing oh in the name of Jesus I cancel it forever amen. say amen by the power of the Holy Spirit, severe menstrual pain goes back to hell. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen. Yes, sir. She had headache, heaviness in the chest. Heaviness? In the chest. Okay. And then she had severe headache. And as she prayed for her, it totally and, left. And what? Hiccup. She's... The heaviness used to make her hiccup. She was even hiccuping during the service. But as she prayed, she's totally healed. God bless you. Look at me. Where did you come from? Kaduna. Kaduna State. You are going back, eh? Where's your mother? She's in Bauchi. When are you going to see her? I'm serving in Kaduna, so it has to be December. December. If I, if I give you an instruction for your mother, will you obey it? Eh? Look for 1,000 Naira recharge card, eh? Yes, Send it to your mother to bless her okay. and watch what happens in your life. Yes. You just do what I ask you to do. It's not some superstition. Please, you get my point. It's just the law of honor that will trigger something. I release my faith with you. Your mother is going to pray one prayer for you that looks like she's playing. But you watch what that play will do in your life. In she had ulcer, peptic ulcer. As she prayed for her, she was totally... Peptic healed. ulcer. How long? I'm here now. Put your hand on your chest. In the name of Jesus Christ, I decree and declare, peptic ulcer goes back to hell. In the mighty name of Jesus goes to hell forever she also had ulcer but she also had kidney inflammation she used to feel a sharp pain she's been healed of the ulcer now when she presses the place before press she it. Feel, press it press it any pain no pain gone completely no. come on koinonia may god forgive you may god you people have seen signs and wonders too much to a point that god bless you he had a sharp pain in his left side okay you mentioned it and then he also used to experience dizziness that he would just be standing be dizzy and then slump but as you prayed for him he was totally you just slump like that yeah they may even have to catch it it happened, it happened once august august 26 you just slump like that yes i was falling and then my brother caught me come what if you fall down like the epileptic patient that used to fall inside fire the devil would just wait until you are crossing a bridge then that wicked spirit will come because he comes to steal to kill and to destroy in jesus name i set you free you are free now you are free forever in jesus name back pain disappeared 
It's had back pain for a long time. Back pain, sir. Yes. In Jesus' name, let it go and go forever, never to return again. In Sometimes the two eyes go blind. Other times only the right one go blind. But now he's totally healed. He can see with both eyes. Have you gone to the hospital for this? But sometimes you just go blank like that. Come. In the name of Jesus, put your hands on your eyes. I decree and declare perfection for you by the anointing of the Holy Ghost. In the name of Jesus Christ. He's had back pain for a long time. He's healed now. Back pain. You see, God is... When there are messages behind miracles, you see that God is healing a lot of back pain because it's a revelation. It's not just the bones are what give structures to a person. Doctors tell us. That means that by this miracle, God is speaking through it, right? Like he's doing the miracle of Ezekiel 37. The bones coming back. It took the bones to come back for an army to rise. Therefore, I'm praying that everything that is out of order, out of joint, out of place in your life, by the anointing that is characterized by these miracles, let there be a restoration of it. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen and amen. God bless you. Yes, please. Go ahead. So, back pain. He came here with waist pain, sorry. Waist pain. He came here with How long? serious pain. 2014. And now, it's gone. try to turn. It's gone. He Completely. squatted for me and... Um, no Squat. You not. You did it for him. Yes. You didn't do it for me. Ah. It looks like a footballer. Gone and gone forever. In Jesus' name. Apostle, you mentioned someone... See, he's laughing that, uh, until he fell under the anointing. A buzzing sound in his left ear and he couldn't hear. Oh, okay. You mentioned it and he was hearing the buzzing sound all through. But as you mentioned it... It's gone now. What's your name, sir? Hear. Since 2014, for the past four years... It's gone completely. Ear, he's Give totally Jesus praise. Healed. In the name of Jesus Christ, I decree and I declare by the power of God, never, never, never returns to you again. Apostle, her left hand, the middle finger, she couldn't bend it at all. She has gone for treatment. She couldn't bend it Which at one? all. Which one? The middle finger. Longest How long? Last year. Why couldn't you bend it? I don't know. I bend it now. Let them see it. Look at this. And then, as you were praying for the lady with menstrual pain, she also had, as you were praying right now, she came for the testimony, the menstrual pain also left. Let it go back to hell Amen. and never come to you again. In the name of Jesus Christ. She had weak. Your father's salvation. Ah, we are experts in praying for salvation here. You need to find out how God saves people here. When you, it's not that God saves them. It's how he saves them. That is a sign and a wonder. I was preaching the series on um, reality of heaven and hell. And there was one malam. He came for koinonia. He was seated outside. And while I was praying, he, he was studying his, 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 his... Let me study your IRK or what? He was studying something like that. And then, all of a sudden, he just... I mean, koinonia just disappeared. And he saw a vision of heaven outside, overflow one. And the Lord Jesus was talking to him. That's how the guy got born again. Remember years ago... The gentleman that came here, that gentleman that belonged to a cult group, you, you know the, the guy, that funny guy that came outside thinking that this is some harbourless place. As soon as I climbed here, all that the guy saw was, I hope he's still in Christ. But as far as, <laughs> yes, the one that slept three days on a graveyard to get power. And so when he was here and saw power, he said, ah, there's power here. Whether it's demonic power or God's power, there's really power here. In the name of Jesus, there is grace that saves men. We declare that your father comes to the genuine saving knowledge of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. She had weakness you. was ill. When we take the last person, that would be also that we can... Yes, In overflow please. three, weakness, overflow three. body pain. So as you went outside and you ministered, ah, she fell under God the power of God. God visited overflow three today. Oh, this miracle service was for overflow three. As she fell under the power, she stood up perfectly whole. Completely. It's gone. In the name of Jesus, it never returns to you again. Yes, please, go ahead. She said she was feeling headache and then generally she wasn't feeling fine. But and as you prayed, come my dear, in the name of Jesus Christ, it goes here. Can, her body is even hot. You can see that her body she is ill, ill, cough, she, but everything is... In the name of Jesus Christ, it goes forever. Next person, okay. please. He's had um, back pain for a while. During the seven days fasting program, yes. he was healed. But yesterday, the symptoms came back. But right now, he has been permanently... What, what was the issue, sir? Back pain. Back pain. Come. 
you see that you see the, the thing again i'm telling you miracles are messages in jesus name back pain goes and goes forever yes she's please. had serious kata since 2010 that lasted for three years is, is that kata and came back again but right now she's completely healed completely healed put your hand on your chest lord jesus let this lady be perfected now perfected forever i bring you the anointing of the holy ghost forever healed forever perfected and the lord is saying i should tell you he's bringing restoration restoration to your life in jesus now name. he's had back pain since 2006 and then hmm. as he sat there and you mentioned the case he believed he was healed but the symptoms were still there yes while he stood up from there to come here the symptoms disappeared that's number one because god will always honor faith come my friend then the second thing was that he had this chest pain he had done his ecg scan and they told him they were going to place him on hypertension drugs but while he stood here the pains disappeared the heaviness left hypertension back to sender back to the devil that sent it in the name of jesus christ amen and amen yes please. her grandfather died of this ulcer pain her father has it her sister has it and then she's also seeing the symptoms but tonight when the case was mentioned she was completely healed you see this these are the kinds of cases where it's not just a healing for the person grandfather died of it you said father has it father has it mother sister has, sister has, has it. it yes aunties yes most of my aunties, my, my younger sister, my dad, just all of us. Like Where are you from? I'm from Delta State. Delta State. In the name of Jesus, a beautiful lady, the devil should not rubbish your destiny. I cancel this yoke, not just over your life, but over your family. In the name of Jesus. It's gone now and gone forever. In Jesus you name. mentioned back pain, Apostle. She came for personal prayers last week, just on her own personal um, prayers as she was going back she felt like an arrow was shot in her back since last week she has been having that pain but as you mentioned it, hold the my pain hands in the name of Jesus look at me look at me shout Jesus Jesus yes she please. had this pain in her chest and her stomach she suspected it our was lovely ulcer. Usher, you can imagine how hard how wonderful okay she was suspecting it was also but she has never gone for diagnosis but as you mentioned the heaviness and the pain Put everything your hand just left in her stomach in the name of jesus christ i command that that devil goes back to hell in the name of jesus give jesus praise now everyone please stand everyone please stand oh they're still he's had a very mysterious headache heaviness that just disappeared now as you mentioned the case in the name of jesus come my friend it never returns to you again every other person that has been touched by the power of god we declare perfection for your body now <laughs> hallelujah please i want you to stretch i want you to stretch your hands towards this prayer request stretch your hands and i want you to begin to declare that as you have dropped this request now in the name that is above all names the only thing you are permitted to pick is your testimony lift your voice and declare it in the name of the lord jesus christ i decree and declare by the power of the holy ghost father in the name of jesus we pray over this request we decree and declare by the power of the holy ghost lord let impossible situations please make sure everybody's request is here let impossible situations go please agree by faith as you pray while laying our hands on this request in the name of jesus father in the name of jesus this is a representation of the faith of your people you are the god that answers prayers I ask, oh God, that you arise. Arise in power. Arise in majesty. Arise in grace. In the name of Jesus. Turn the lives of your people around. Turn the lives of your people around. Turn the lives of your people around.
hallelujah i stand upon this request prophetically and i agree with you for some of you the things you have written here the truth is that only god can do them there's no man born of a woman that can do it in fact if you read some of the things for us even us who god has helped will have to doubt and say ah but thank god that the request is unto god father we present before you this request and in the name of jesus i declare that this request has supernaturally turned to testimonies they are supernaturally turned to testimonies in the name of jesus christ please stand if you can and receive the last prophecy and impartation I will continue to speak over your life and I will continue to release the anointing on your destiny until until your life becomes a picture of everything that God has said therefore please I want you to humble yourself and open up your heart and your spirit there is a lady you have been seen You have been seeing yourself carrying children in dreams this is almost all most of your dreams that's all you are breastfeeding children you are carrying children you are with babies in the name of jesus every fraternity every fraternity with the gate of darkness in the name of jesus i'm praying for those people first i command that devil to leave you now once and for all once and for all hallelujah i'm praying for someone else i don't know why god is interrupting me now there is no night that you sleep without somebody coming to molest you i'm saying once you go to bed somebody must come to molest you whether it's a man whether it's a woman whether it's an animal that must happen to you you get up and physical things begin to be misplaced i'm praying right now for those people that this word is for in the name of jesus by the fire that comes from the throne of god i declare you and that demonic spirit be delivered now once and for all in the name of Jesus now I pray for you if there is anyone here called into ministry or anyone here in ministry but you are not seeing the signs the wonders the results that befit the anointing where are you I pray for you I stretch my hands right now in the name that is above all names I prophesy to your life catch fire catch fire catch fire catch fire he makes his ministers wings he makes his angels wings and his ministers flames of fire therefore I speak over your life catch fire healing fire deliverance fire breakthrough fire let it come upon you now in the name of Jesus now I speak over every crippled destiny you are trying to make progress and move but something is pinning you down and keeping you in one place in the name that is above all names by the power of the prophetic I shift you to the next level of your life please believe it I shift you to the next level of your life for all those in business here and you're trusting God to stabilize you are up today and down tomorrow I stretch my hands in the name that is above all names may the grace for strange favor may the grace for favor come upon your business 
and lift you to a new dimension in the name of Jesus Christ every helper that must show up between now and October miracle service listen you heard the testimony of the gentleman here it just takes one genuine helper genuine sent by God I pray for you and I connect you to the helper that will turn your life around in the name of Jesus Christ I connect you to the helper that will turn your life around in the name of Jesus Christ listen every family here that is saying Lord when will you visit us when will you wipe our tears when will you take reproach from our lives I'm declaring to you now by the force of favor may the Lord turn your family's life around right now anyone here called barren or you are connected to anyone you know trusting God for the fruit of the womb in the name of Jesus we release their miracle children now I'm praying for anyone here trusting God for a job you are trusting God for a job or you have loved ones that are trusting God for a job in the name of Jesus I agree with you that between now and October miracle service return with your testimony the kind of favor ah, the favor that can turn your life overnight around I decree and declare may that favor and that grace locate you and turn your life around hallelujah now I want you to say amen to this prayer that I want to pray for you the problem that only you will have the anointing and the grace to solve that will pick you and bring you to notoriety in the name of Jesus from the depth of my heart may that anointing come upon you now in the name of Jesus Christ 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 help that mama please listen your relevance is defined by the solutions you provide so when God wants to help you he will carry Joseph and put in him an ability to interpret Pharaoh's dream Joseph interpreted the dream of the buckler nothing happened when you interpret the dream of a man of influence you will not remain in the prison i pray for you again the grace the grace that will cause you to solve the problem of one who has the influence and the capacity to bless you receive that grace in the name of jesus anyone here or your family members due for promotion and have been kept down either by tribalism or religion or some kind of devilish factors in the name that is above all names we declare their promotion here we declare their promotion now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ now I agree with you whether I uniquely mention your issue or not whatever it is you came here believing in the name that is above all names i stretch my hands and i agree with you let it return to you as a speedy testimony yeah. hallelujah Lord, in this month of October, I'm, not, I'm, I'm the one asking for you. Father, a dimension of financial increase that your people have not seen. 
this has nothing to do with what you are doing on i'm praying for you in the name that is above all names i pray for you may my god bring supplies to your life this month in a way that will bring tears of joy to your eyes finally i pray for you i don't know what dimension in the spirit you are crying that god brings you into for some of you god has helped you in the area of revelation but you truly need the gifts of the spirit to walk in your life for some of you you have seen the gifts of the spirit work but you need a higher dimension for some of you you need comprehension into the word of god for some of you you need the grace for prayer you are not lazy the grace is just not there for some of you you need faith and courage capacity to believe god for impossible things it doesn't matter what category i stretch my hands and i declare whatever spiritual blessing you desire i stretch my hands to you now let it come upon you right 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 now in the name of jesus christ let it come upon you right now i'm still praying it let it come upon you prophetic fire let it come upon you visions and dreams visions and dreams let it come upon you the grace to interpret visions and dreams let it come upon you the gifts of healing let it come upon you tongues interpretation of tongues the gifts of wisdom the gifts of leadership administration let it come upon you in jesus name father we give you thanks we thank you i decree and declare the blessing that is upon nigeria the grace that has made nigeria indestructible after 58 years may that same grace keep your life intact if nigeria is not dead after 58 years i forbid death from your life in the name of jesus christ hallelujah you are here and you are saying apostle i need jesus you heard the prayer of our dear lady here the sister that came requesting for her father in the name of jesus listen carefully I know we are trying to settle down in the name of jesus that lady i cause the spirit that that lady you are with i command that devil let her go now look at the kind of wild wild spirit these are the kinds of spirits that that make people manifest as stubborn it doesn't mean they are bad when a stubborn spirit is working in your life it will reflect that's why you find out that they don't listen no matter what you tell them they never listen these are the spirits in the name of jesus christ i set this lady free hello beloved in christ we hope this message was a blessing to you i would want you to do something for us if you are new here kindly hit on that subscribe button for us and then like this video as well share to your family and friends to bless them because we know that this message will be a blessing to their body to their soul and to their spirit we would need you to do one thing for us to tell us in the comment section where you were watching us from and if you've got any testimony for us kindly share with us thank you for watching in the name of jesus drought in your life that even when it is physical rainy season it is still dry season spiritually financially and otherwise i decree and declare let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall let the rain